got all my slap all my early slap chads. Let's fuck let's friggin' go. Okay, let's friggin' go, dude. Got a great night of fights ahead of us, boys. Costa's going to chin Strickland. Strickland will win, bro. And anyway, Maynard, first warning and only warning. No MMA talk. First warning, only warning. No MMA talk. Do you forget where you are, buddy? Well, let me get a... Well, I'll get the link in there when it actually starts. What's up, Quandale Pringle? What's good? Stay seeking the truth. Let's go, bro. We're in here for a slap thing. Man, I said no MMA talk. That's what I'm saying. Ha, to. What are you saying? Ha, to. You said Costa's going to chin strike. I said don't talk about it in here. We're in a slap stream, buddy. Those new UFC clubs are shit. Let's go. I'm so turned right now. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Avinash Tawari. What's up, bro? AJ Hansen Strands. Dude, that... Hey. That's a crazy grudge match, eh? Azale Rodriguez versus uh, AJ Hintz. That's sick. I, uh, that's such a good matchup. I've wanted to see that for years. It's fucking insane. It's a grudge match. Uh, those new gloves are shit. Why change a thing? Why change a good thing, right? Turn based violence. Let's go. Anyone who enjoys turn based combat, drop a like on this stream, okay? If you're if you fell in love with turn based combat through MM or through RPGs such as Lord of the Rings game. I can't remember what it's called. That was such a goaded turn-based combat game. Do you guys remember that game? You would, like, you were playing as this guy in, like, Lord of the Rings, and you would, like, gather, like, a, you would, like, recruit, like, different, like, NPCs that, to join, like, your team or whatever, and then you'd go, like, turn-based, third age, yeah, 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 you'd go turn-based combat with, like, orcs and wargs and shit, and, like, Rohan, it, that's such a good game, dude, I wonder if you can get that on, like, Xbox still or some shit, I'd rip, I'd play the fuck out of that, dude, uh, Karche glasses, I won't even peek at you, Static. We got any static enjoyers in chat, dude? I'm bored. I'll hang out, drink beers, and watch this. What's good, NSDBS? Don't say you're only watching it because you're bored. Like, listen, we don't we don't want you if you're just if it's you know go to bed, buddy. I'm just kidding. Stick around. We got makes me hearts. Okay, I don't quite know what you mean by that. The need to get the beard says that Mr. Target. I actually do agree with that. I actually do agree with that. That would be the change I would personally implement. Power slap seven over UFC 300. <laughs> it may shape up to be a better event. What's good, Stuart Chambers? 2.40 a.m. pizza, leftovers, and beer. Well, you're about to get a little icing on the cake with some slap, buddy. When I was a kid, I liked Max Payne too and Hitman. I really liked Hitman that much. I played Max Payne a little bit. They're both they're both decent games, though. Uh, where can I even watch this card? Never seen PS. So I'll give you a link, bro. It's on Rumble though, if you want to get it up early. But um, well, I can put the link in here. I'll pin it in a minute. Well, I might. I, I'll pin it whenever. The card's gonna start soon. There's the link that should get you to the uh, the waiting room for the live stream. And I'll pin it in a minute. Treat the like button like your finger is Benjamin, and the button is <laughs> ah, it's all it's Fanny, dude. That's wild. How many streams are we doing today, boss? This would be my. Third stream. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are we streams available for members after? Yes, FM. Yes. That's one of the big perks. That's why it's the best value for money. A lot of other streamers don't do that. Okay. Well, not that I'm a core streamer. I'm, I prefer, I'm more of a... It's the... Sec. It's a, it's a big part of the channel. But you feel... It's a big part of the channel. So I could actually use that term. But anyway, point being. Yes. All. For a, the price of a bag of chips every month. Good man, we go. Thanks. Yeah, 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 bro. No worries. No worries. Power slap, PKFC. I'm ecstatic. EBT MMA finally laid off. I don't know about that, bro. He literally tagged me in something the other day, that weirdo. Maybe he isn't good, homie. I woke up 12 o'clock at night. 
Oh, and it's like middle of the freaking morning for you. you. Just enjoy some slap. Tonight, slapping stream, gonna hit the cook. Okay. He goes, What's your new video? One of my classes, my friend who is a female, said so you're very handsome. Show her that. Uh, show her that, average rigger. And of course, I'm just making ah, dad, dude. Well, I look like a fool now. Get some carne asada with peppers, onion, and rice right now. I'm going to crack a cervecita in the night. Oh, dude, I wish I had some cervezas right now. I actually wish I had some beers. You guys make me want to drink with slap. I should have had some beers ready to go for slap. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I don't know why I have these on. Either. What's up, Maybe When this power stop starts in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I knew you and EBT are eventually pick up. That's the furthest. I don't know how you misconstrued what I said. Is that been vaping for over 15 years? No problem. Based. Doc says lungs are perfect. Based. And living evident. Hey, hey, champ. Hey, Zach. Vaping for about five years. Feel the best I've ever felt in my life. Feel like I'm 16 years old. Rigoberto, what's good, Quandel Pringle? So shout out Zick Pranks. Cheers, cheers. Enjoy that, bro. What do you personally like to hit on? I like a nice mango myself. I'm a big mango enjoyer. I'm actually kind of a mango elitist. I really only like a pure mango. Um, I have a feeling that Dana will literally hire you for a social media team for power slap. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That could literally happen. Like we say it as a meme, but that's actually a realistic possibility. Wolverine is overrated. I wouldn't say he's overrated, bro. He's looking pretty good at light heavyweight, dude. He sent AJ static hands down the 185, didn't he? Or did he? I think he did. I saw him like, well, God bless you, Muhammad. I tip my hat to you, sir. Rumble app has ads now. They've had ads for a minute. I have a fresh gay watermelon vape. Okay, that's not a flavor. Gay watermelon is not a flavor. It might be actually a flavor. I don't like that that's a realistic possibility. That's something that Peyton Talbot would like fucking get sponsored by. New gay watermelon and zesty mango. Dude, I swear to, I swear I've seen a zesty mango. I've seen zesty mango, I think, or something like that, dude. Is AJ going to get KO'd again? I don't know, bro. This is a tough matchup for Aziel. That's why it's a sick fight. This is my most favorite fight on the card, AJ versus Aziel. And you know I'm in a big Aziel enjoyer. Hope you guys are best friends again. Okay. Is UFC 300 the best card ever? It has the potential to be very, 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 very good. It has the potential to be. 273 is the best I've ever seen live. 273 is a very good card. Listen, UFC often puts on really great spectacles, but this one really just has the... It has no choice but to deliver it in a really good way, but who knows how if, if it's going to be your personal favorite, right? It's going to be a really, really great card, though. Don't smoke cigarettes anymore, and I feel worse. Okay. Yeah, average regular is actually right there, 100%, right? Initial cold turkey stage, yep, yep, yep. Cigarettes are definitely worse. Oh, 100%. Alex looked a little nervous at today's face-offs. He, bro, seventh layer of hair. Am I the only one who didn't? Okay, we're, you, I'll let you talk some MMA. I was actually getting mad at Maynard MMA earlier in the stream for talking about MMA in this power slap stream, but I'll allow it because the face-offs are so fucking juicy. Blood. Uh, yeah, Alex looked shook. I noticed quite a lot of blinking on that stone face didn't you my friends i think jamal i think what is crossing through alex's mind right now is that he doesn't he's never fought an angry black man he realizes that israel Desanya is in fact a chinese woman and he's about to have an angry fight an angry black man in hand to hand combat and he's not ready he doesn't know what it's like. I'd buy this team. It actually sounds like a decent flavor. Are you and group friends? No. 
Rigo, why are you on Google image results for Charlie's bar? I've never been to Phoenix. I don't know what Charlie's bar is. This is slander. What's up, Monk Monty? With uh, Romello Foster, Uber Eats some beer. Uh, I don't know if you can do that in Canada. You can definitely order beer, but I don't think you can do it through Uber Eats. You have to do it through like a separate fucking beer service or whatever. Like, I I'm good. I, I don't need to. In oh, when's this on? 10 minutes. Oh, I still got plenty of time. Do you think they're going to pull a surprise in 300? No, I don't think so, but we might get a cool announcement. And, or two. I remember got mocked badly by Charles two times. Two face-offs in a row, bro. Dude, was it just me or did Armin still look drained out at the ceremonial way ends, right? Huh? And what's good, Caden? Hope you're doing well, man. Alex was getting mad that Jamal Hill was giving him respect the other day ago, and now he's all mad today. What, does he not understand they're about to fight? Listen. I getting mad is good because that's breaking his stone exterior. Not necessarily scared. I wouldn't say Alex Pereira is scared of anything, but just like I wouldn't even say like Rakic is scared of anything. But you know, Yeri clearly won against Rakic. Like you can win faceoffs. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the fight. But um, Jamal Hill is the most hood thing. You know, Pereira beat the beat uh, Yeri in the faceoff. I distinctly remember that. Um, I remember Yeri looking shook, but today he was, Yeri was stone face crucifix Maxine on his way up to the stage. I noticed Yeri crucifix Maxine, no more of this gay Bushido shit. He's on his crucifix arc and, uh, he stone faced the Serb. He's, he's stone faced the chicken boy Serb racket who I picked. I might have to pick flip on that one. Uh, yeah, Yuri looked away first against Alex. Yeah, he, and he lost. And I, I remember him looking like almost like how Rakic looked against him, kind of like with these like almost too big of eyes. And like Yuri always has an intense face, but there was like the subtle things in that face off where it was like, ooh, he doesn't look, he didn't win it. Alex won it. Alex was stone face. Alex was the, you know, in the traditional, like how you win a face off. He definitely took it. Often that doesn't mean that much, but, um, it often can. It often can. I bet I'd love to see the stats break down. Someone probably has done that, right? Of well, it's really object or subjective who wins a face off. So whatever. It's kind of a waste of time. Whatever. Someone telling someone you're on their ass will get your mind. Let me have your little proper hand show that you're probably it's a great nah, Kaden. You nah, Kaden, Kaden, Kaden. You don't understand. It's theater, bro. It's theater. It's like Henry Sahudo throwing the snake on the ground. I like Guru, but Rigo and Ronan clears. We appreciate you, Monten. Monten. Mountain man. Mountain man. What's mug? Mug just means like beads. Or like, I think it originally meant like outsize something, but it just means like, you know. Yeah. It's like beads. Outsize. You know, you mug them in the face off. Or like, so you, like, you know, you're the one who, mugging someone in a face off, you'd be like, you could physically mog someone by like stature mogging them, like Charles. Okay, here's a great way. We're gonna describe. Hey, using Charles Oliveira and Armin Sarukian face off to explain mogging. Charles Oliveira physically mogged Armin. He made Armin look like a frail little bantamweight. Right? He was big, cowering over him. You know, his nose on top of uh, Armin's head. Physical mog. That's the most basic, straight up definition of it. Then he also aura mogged or present mogged him, which you can also use often. People use that quite a bit. That's probably like the second most common usage. Like, oh, you know, dude, that guy's mogging him. Like, and you know, oh, like just like putting him in his place like a little son, little boy, making him look like small, physic, uh, uh, spiritually, kind of, you know, or, or um, yeah, right. But you could also mentally mog someone, um, like. You know, Dominic Cruz mentally mogged Cody Garbrandt. Um, mentally, intellectually. You feel me? Does that help? He drip mogged him. You can drip mog. You can drip mog. Yep, 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 yep. I got to watch the ceremony wins with them. They were good. They were good. But to be honest, the um, weigh-ins after the face-offs were really good, too. I feel like they were better. Oh, look, 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 look who's in chat. Lossel. Armin is about to get a legend on his resume. We're almost that slap, guys. We got we got seven more minutes. We were allowed to talk about MMA, and then we're fully slap focused in the stream. All right. And what's good, Matt W? Appreciate you being in the chat, bro. Aljo and Yuri look great on the scale. Those are the locks. You know who's underrated 
uh, looked really good. What's up, Carter Minton? I'm so excited for this card. Same, let's go Turpic. And Orion, Mimosa, and Ty, you can make an objective by setting parameters like whoever breaks. Yeah, there is technically kind of like objective things, but people always make copes because, and also the weird thing about body language is some people literally like, Strickland is a good example of this. Strickland almost always like loses his face off. In the, in the traditional sense, you know, but it, to him, it's like, because he's like laughing and looking down and, you know, he can kind of play it off, but it's like, Oh, inability to make eye contact, trying to play it off as a joke, blah, blah, blah. It's like you're losing the face off, but it doesn't play into his fights at all, right? Um, what's good, Elite MMA V2? Happy to see you in the chat too. Wait, um, someone said something. Well, I, I kind of got off track. Oh, I was going to say Holloway underrated, looked really good on the scales, looked like he had a really great cut, dude. So if you picked Holloway, I'd be feeling great about that. Um, I was really impressed by him, and especially on the weigh-in show, he was... Speaking really, really, really lucidly and uh, fast and making fun of DC and shit, which is not usual for Holloway. He's almost always brain dead after a cut. And um, you know what, 45, like all like can barely string together a sentence. I doubt the crowd boost Jamal tomorrow, just a bunch of potent cells. Well, if you've no there's like fan favorites on the card, and especially the hardcores who go to these weigh-ins, like you, you can tell they like Yeri, Charles. Well, in order, it's probably Charles, Yeri. Yeri Poetan are probably around the same. But if you know it's like Rakic is getting booze too. And you can tell these guys like Armin and Rakic and shit are kind of like, the heck? Like, this is really a lot of booze. There's no cheers for me right now. Two days in a row. Um, but yeah, I don't think the actual stadium or arena, sorry, is gonna be like that at all. Um, it'll be a big just roar and shit for everyone's walkouts and stuff. But Charles will get the pop and stuff over Armin. You might hear some audible boos for Armin until everyone just starts kind of like cheering and going, oh, yeah, 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 nice. Full Violence YouTube channel has a video of asking UFC fans if they can beat Charles. Then Charles comes out of nowhere and says, that's actually a good idea. That's really good uh, good content. I'm going to watch that. Mogin is like completely overshadowing someone's presence. Yeah, standing over. Yeah, and there can be different ways to do it, right? Yeah, exactly, friend. That's a good way of uh, wrapping it up. Armin got wobbled by Silva. I know, lol. Lo. I know, John Doe. Lol, bro. I know, lol, bro. Sorry, I, I'm uh, I'm biased as hell this card. I'm biased as hell this card because I have so many of my favorites on the card. Silva is an unmake fighter who took the fight out two weeks. I, I, I know, bro. Yo, my dick's enormous. Thank you for the $2 super chat, dude. Appreciate you, man. Uh, what is the most base country? El Salvador. James Krause in chat. What's good, dude? Mogging, dominating. Yeah. James Krause financially mogged you dummies out of your money who bet on the Malkoon um, uh, Petrovsky fight. He wallet mogged you. But yeah, I appreciate you, my dicks enormous. I would say El Salvador. What they did to all those criminals is pretty based. But that could be recency bias. The United States is based as hell as a culture. People in the United States are based, pioneer spirit. Same with a lot of Canadians. But Canada as a country is very soy, and it has been for a long time. All right, we got power slap coming up, guys. What is Mog? I just explained it, Zick. All right, here's the link. I'm going to pin that for anyone who does want to get the power slap going. And... uh do about like two or three minutes. Come on. Someone type something to bump that message up. I can't pin it because that stupid heart thing YouTube added like six months ago. Oh, what's good, Cody Cox? A bass slap enjoyer. Genuinely feel bad. Armin will be scared. And that dude, pray for Armin. Like, I feel like a Charles might turn him into the next Tony, like damage his brain and stuff because he's su had such a bad cut. I'm not laughing because I'm laughing at Armin possibly getting injured. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about how Lawsol is reacting right now as he's hearing me say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're not tell me. But I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious. And if anyone wants the power slap link, it's linked up there at the Rumble. Then. You go see if Okay, Chris. Shut the hell up, dude. You wouldn't say that to me in the streets of Bangladesh, bro. Half of the Americans hate the USA for no good reason. It's true. 
Amog, a male of a group, is the original. Oh, is it actually Mount Man? Thank you for saying that. Thank you for letting me know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I ain't watching Power Slap. Oh, you put it on. If you're going to chill and chat, Caden, put it on. You'll enjoy it. It is what it is. Just don't take it too seriously. And that's why it's a good sport. Caden, you know why Power Slap is goaded right now? Because it has no fan basis. It has no toxic, cringe, fucking people who don't know anything about a fighter running, you know, running defense for him. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Armin, Armin Sells. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you're an Iron fan, I don't want to alienate all the Armenians from my fucking thing. It's like I'm going to alienate every small fan base in the world. The South Africans are finally starting to come back to my stream, which is good. Which is good. And you know what? DDP is actually growing on me. I was, what was I watching from DDP the other day? Like, listen, I'm not justifying him kissing his coach and shit. Um, but first of all, DDP didn't rob Strickland. And don't get started in the chat. I'm entitled to my opinion about that fight. You're entitled to your opinion. All I'm saying is DDP didn't do anything wrong. So I shouldn't blame him. The South African guy said this on my video the other day. He made a very good point. But there's this other thing that made me, that I'd watched like completely like unrelated to that. And I was like, DDP is kind of actually is like pretty fucking funny. Dude. And he's like a troll. And I appreciate a troll. Like at the end of the day, I do appreciate a troll. Power Step 7 is the most stat combat sports card ever. So I hope the South Africans actually come back en masse to the channel. You go, should I have some coffee? Well, it depends where you are. It's really late where I am. I wouldn't have coffee where I am just because I ruined my sleep. Where do we find the coin toss winners? It's on the website. I actually rarely look at those, bro, because they don't impact the fights that much. It's about as significant as being a Southpaw fighter versus an Orthodox fighter in MMA. You know how that's like a 56% or whatever it is win rate? It's like not very significant. Now, it could make a difference per matchup, though. So, But I often don't check it that much. But if you're putting money on it, I'd probably want to check that. Yeah, I think you can find it on the website. Well, you can find it on the website. All right, we got Power Slap, boys. Let's go. I'm going to get this going up. Let's go, dude. Why do I have... Yo, XQC is watching Power Slap here with some guy on Rumble right now. What the fuck's going on? Yo, pay me! Yo, why is XQC getting paid hundreds of thousands of fucking dollars by Dana White? To watch something he doesn't even enjoy and give fake reactions in broken English. Hey, Dana, my bank account's wide open. I sin sincerely and genuinely shill power slap, you fucking mongoloid. You paying this French-Canadian bomb? Who's 100% getting exposed for rape. I'm, I'm saying it now! It's a matter of a year or two before a whole bunch of rape allegations come out about XQC. Every French Canadian has rape allegations. Even GSP got them. It's like a statistical, very high likelihood. Anyway, let's get Power Slap going. Don't sue me, XQC. But watch, yo, Mystic Rigo. Next year, XQC, whole bunch of Me Too shit. All good, really good. Trash on What's good, everyone? Happy to have you in chat. Nice slap. No one's slapping yet. Hey, man, nice slap. Excuse me, is there a cancer to young gen? He's an unintelligible mong. Like, mong. Like, what's. He's unintelligible. It doesn't even make any sense. We're going to need to be hated by Pirate Dana. Hired by Pirate. I know. I know. That was my business pitch. That was my business pitch, bro. I guarantee there will be no rape allegations. We got pitching data multi deal for us content creators. I got a power slap eight. Yo, you're going to power slap eight VIP ticks. Moody, name drop me, bro. Cody, I know you're a real bro. Yo, we are so up. We are so up. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, is it muted? Yes. All right, guys, we got Michael Bisbean and Dan Healy talking about the slap fights right now, gentlemen. Gentlemen, this is going to be an excellent night of fights. Screw in. If you haven't got the um, the fights up yet, it is linked at the top of chat there. And boys, oh, why are the subtitles on? I don't want subtitles, dude. This is dog poo, bro. Why is there subtitles on this? And they're not removable?
I'm going to try it on the app instead. But uh, there is the link for anyone. Call your opposition artists. So based. What do you mean artists? Like racist, basically. Thoughts on Ehor Pateria's chess piece? I don't know what it looks like off the top of my head, Camacho. I can't remember. Uh, XQC being French makes the rape allegations 10% more lucky. It's true. It's real. That's like a real stat. If you're French, you're very likely to have committed aggravated sexual battery. Rigo give, <laughs> give Rigo his deal data. The tickets are wild, cheap, because all these branded beans are giving this bad. Dude, I got to get going. I'm going to try to go this year. Oh, why did I allow you Rumble to send me notifications? I don't want that. This is a massive catastrophe. Rumble's so dog crap, I only ever download it when the fights, when the power slap comes on. Because I'm not a, a Rumble simp. I'll never have Rumble installed on my phone. So I can sell. So Rumble can sell my data to the lowest bidder. I like YouTube because they at least. YouTube at least has like quality standards. Like they're not going to sell my data on the cheap, right? Like my data is expensive. Um, and I want it to be sold for what it's worth. It's like my blood too and shit. Like I wouldn't just. That's why I don't donate blood in Canada. Because my blood's worth way more than. I know it's worth way more. Well, it's way worth way more than free, buddy. And. uh so is my data, and you, Rumble is just going to probably sell it off to any old schmo, man. All of XQC viewers share one brain cell. If anybody becomes an MMA fan in this chat or a power slap contestant, shut your call. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. That's like an obligation. That's like an obligation. I expect Cody Cox to just start screaming my name when he goes to the power slap event. What do you think of my Biz Bean commentary? I like Biz Bean for the most part. However, I used to, Bisbee was one of my favorite commentators when he first started and he started doing the fight nights and shit. And he was often paired up with uh, Fitzgerald and, or he would like step in, but you know, Bisbee has a very big ego and he doesn't mix well with other people with not even as big of an ego as him because he's arguably got one of the biggest egos of anyone who sits up there, which is fine. But that's why he works well with a guy like Fitzgerald, who's pretty ego free when he goes to work you feel me i'm not saying fitzgerald is a pussy or anything but he definitely used to let bisbean walk over him a little bit he pushed back on him now and there he bisbean's got some respect for him but you know what i mean so bisbean i really like do like bisbean even though he is a heathen and he for some reason loves to like shit on christians and shit and stuff like that but not anything else like he did you know what i mean he has this whatever i do enjoy bisbean i do watch believe you me and i like his commentary i think he's an, a decent commentator um, he just doesn't match well with the big egos. So like him in DC, typically, I don't think they have great chemistry, um, especially not on the commentary booth. Uh, him and Cruz are okay, to be honest. Is Bino Beast a sin? Bino Beast in and of itself is not a sin, no. But typically, it would be hard-pressed to become obese without being a glutton, right? You could have a thyroid issue or some shit, or a, a, an injury, right? To... I think it'd be rare though. Obese is pretty crazy. I guess you could be overweight without being a glutton. Too big missed weight by self because obese is like insane, right? That's like crazy fat. Too big missed weight. Like some people might even be like, oh, I'm obese, but it's like you're not even obese. Chill. Chill, blah. Give yourself some slack, dude. You just got some, you just you just chubby, dude. There's some real porkers out there, like people riding mobility scooters and shit. And at that point, yeah, you know, because those people, first of all, they're liars too. They lie about how much they eat. You're a liar. You'll be like, how much? You'll be like, honestly, like, how much did you, like, how much do you eat normally? Like, and they'll be like, I don't even eat that much. And then meanwhile, if you put a secret camera in their house, they're literally eating ranch, like drinking ranch buckets and dipping like melted Hagen dazs into rolls of Oreos and shit. Like they're rolls of Oreos in the Hagen dazs And it's like, so you're just a liar at the end of the day. Like every fat person only eats like 2000 calories, guys. Every obese person, right? You know what I mean? So I don't trust a liar, especially if you lie about little things like that. Just be honest, motherfucker. It's be like, yeah, I shot. Like, listen, because, you know, you'll even go out like a fat person. And they won't eat. you be like, why are you eating, bro? You're not hungry? they would be like, no, 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 no. And you'll be like, we know you're hungry. But like, no, 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 no. And then they go home and they're gorging. But hey, if you are actually struggling with eating or anything, don't beat yourself up. Because you're not like a bad person or anything at the end of the day. Inherently, anything you know, it's, we're just joking. Stop funny should be high paced, not weight paced. But it's a good question. You know, forty percent of Americans are obese. Yeah, 
there's a lot of issues now, but you know, so a lot of things can be blamed on parents now. People are built, raised in like a culture of obesity. It's kind of crazy. They're raised as little pig kids. And it's almost impossible to escape childhood obesity. You're like, fuck. It's like being a crack baby, dude. You're raised on that sugar blood. Mm, mm, mm. That fructose blood. That's like a Theo Vaughn thing. I swear to God, Theo Vaughn is a bit about that. You talk about uh, he's raised on the sugar and shit, and he just suck fucking lick sugar and shit. But it's like these high fructose kids are. Um, what do you do? I like being with Martha Luther Gomez. He was good. See, I don't mind Anthony Smith, but a comedic aspect that helps balance out Biz being actually, actually, dude, Biz, uh, Anthony Smith has totally grown on me. It is a better MMA show with Anthony Smith. Now, Luis J. Gomez might have been better to just bring in that kind of audience and shit, but I don't know. Bisbean's a big enough name and shit. Now, and he's fun. This is the thing. Bisbean's funny enough. I was about to say, like, they need a comedic aspect. Nah, maybe, like, you know, other MMA fighters need that comedic aspect on their podcasts to help with them because they're not that, like, natural, witty guy. But Bisbean actually is a naturally funny, witty guy, hence why he's on commentary. So... He's he, Bisbee's pretty good. He has funny stories, too. He's just like a boomer. He's like a dumb boomer, right? All right, guys. We got uh, Kling Bao. Uh, sorry, sorry. Belial versus Rivero. They're doing shadow slaps. This is my favorite. This is my favorite part of Power Slap is the fucking shadow slapping, dude. They're shadow slapping right now. Okay, if you don't have this on, you have to be watching right now. They're shadow slapping. Oh, let's go. Yo, I have missed power slap. Bisbean ga uh, gas was way better options. Russell Rivera. I got Russell Rivera in this matchup. Those fat people at least eat 1,500 calories and ranch a day. Yeah, 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 bro. Well, they'll eat like melted hog and bars. But yo, at the end of the day, like those guys shouldn't like uh, uh, feel like, you know, just deal with it, right? You got to respect those those um bigger boys and bigger women who go out there and just like don't give a shit and they're in the gym and shit, just working them to get themselves in shape because a lot of it is mentality at the end of the day. And you know, it's probably combined with other like things like mental illness and stuff, uh, depression, whether it's like a vicious cycle that all that crap, right? Like body image, obesity, depression, all sorts of things. And then, you know, I bet you most of those people aren't bad people. And they're lying because they're they're lying out of shame at the end of the day. They're not lying because they're bad people. There's a, there is a difference between malicious lying and uh, uh, what's it called lying. So I'll end it on that. I don't actually think obese people are bad people. I was saying they're liars and stuff, but I was just joking. Revert for the step. Shadow Slapping is crazy. Shadow Slapping is my favorite part of the sport, bro. Shadow slapping, not Caden. You have to see it, bro. You missed it, but shadow slapping is the best part of the sport, bro. Slaps and chat, yo. Slaps and chat, Ian Colin. Absolutely, bro. Got this match under three point five slaps. Well, it has to be under. Oh no, it doesn't. There's six slaps. Rivera first slap, KO. Let's go, Nacho one. Let's go, bro. This is gonna be such a good card. You don't need to go to the gym if you're that fat, though. Well, most of them start working out in their backyards and shit. I feel like being a lefty would be a huge advantage. I don't know. It'd be interesting. We don't really have enough like pro slaps at this moment, probably to get good stats on it, but eventually we will. Yo, what's good, Mike Brannigan? I never be in your companion streams because I go to a bar at the gym boys for UFC. Finally, I can. Let's go, bro. You can finally catch a nice slap companion, man. These are the best companions anyway. UFC pales in comparison. 300 will obviously be better than this, but often the, like, I'm not even, I'm not being I, uh, joking. Like when the slap cards are before fight nights, the slap is more enjoyable. Because it's a quicker card. Because the fight nights are still six hours. They're just like as long as pay-per-views. But when it's a pay-per-view, it's hype, right? Like you're like sitting there like, fuck yeah. And the fights are going good. And they do a really good job promoing stuff. The fight nights are often a lot of dead air, boring shit. So the power stop cards are really just great pacing. They're a good Friday thing. Just saw some Armin. Someone posted some shit about Armin. It popped up on my notifications. But Flavia, you're vaping on Mango, bro. Mango. Okay, I know you're in a slap comp. I like that energy, bro. Maybe one day we'll put on a Rego slap fest. Like a B leagues for the uh for the UF, uh, for the power slap. Dude, we could become a feed. Dude, you know how cool that would be in like 10 years to have a feed, even sooner, because it's slap. It's a brand new sport. We could get in at the ground level. Five years. Imagine a Rego. SL, RSL, Rigo Slap League or Riga Slap League, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
it's a feeder league for Power Slap. Two for two, two, 2K to show, 2K to win. Um, chance at greatness in Power Slap. Dude, be like Uriah Faber's A1 combat or whatever. It started as a meme, but Power Slap finally crept in because Pierce saw. It's an enjoyable thing. It's just not, you just just nothing to take too, too serious at the end of the day. But almost, guys, at the end of the day, no sport is, should be taken too seriously. It's all bread and circus, circus specifically. Honestly, most fight nights aren't even worth strike stinking to six hours into them anymore. Uh, it is for me because, like, I'm running the MMA channel now, but I definitely had that feeling even years ago when I'd watch them Sundays. I'd be like, ah. I really want to watch some more MMA. Like this wasn't enough for me. I don't feel satisfied and shit. Like that's all, that was often my feeling after some fight nights, bro, for sure. But that's the reason I don't hold high, fight nights to a high standard. And I just take them as what they are. I'm happy for the fights on the Saturday. And then, you know, if I want more MMA. Okay, guys, we've got the tail of the tape here. Russell Rivera versus uh, Cody Belayo, both 31 years of age, five foot nine versus six foot three. Whoa, seven inch reach advantage for Cody Belayo with the six inch height advantage. Might be hard for Russell to find his chin, blood. Eleven inch palm, bro, and he's a lefty. Cody below. Uh oh. Imagine being thirty one and signing up for this. There's nothing wrong with being any age and being a slap fighter. There's forty year olds fighting tonight. Rigo Slap League would be like the contender series. Yeah, exactly. Or Uriah's uh, 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 A one combat. Exactly. I join one eighty five. We'll get you in there, friend. We'll get you some matchup. Young Rigo, Young Rigo, Rigo. Let's go on, Casey. Rigo versus MMA group. Power slap. Dude. Or me versus Tracy. Rivero, shadow slap. Looked weak. I got the other guy. I should have picked Cody. I'm, I am I. was even said this in my video. I said I'm picking Russell Rivero, but then I whispered it in the mic. I'm like, I think Cody might probably win. This is like the one pick I faded in my own power slaps prediction video. I basically pick flipped as I did it. So I'm counting. If Cody wins, it's a win for me. Okay. But he's also kind of a soy boy. Yeah, Rivera's a dirty fighter. Phenomenal anomalous. He is a dirty fighter. Rivera puts his whole body in the slaps. Immaculate form. All right, Rigo, I'm 34. There, get You should try to sign up, buddy. I'm a 40-year-old. And it'd be no shame if you were slapping. I'm down to slap base. This is how. I'm 25. I could be in slap. Slap is for all ages. We should have child slap, bro. I just, like, they have Muay Thai, like, not too, too young. But I don't mind watching some 12-year-olds slap the shit out of each other, dude. All right, guys, it's really hard to do timers for slap, unfortunately. If they do give us, like, a timer, I'll try to – there's almost no point. I'm going to be clicking this all night. So I'll try to just line up when they do their measure. I'll let you know how much they are so you can try to sync up your stream with me if you want. Because they always will be like, I'm striking on two, and then they do a measure. So we'll, like, line up that way, okay? That's the best way to do it for slap. I see what you said. Okay, chill out. I don't have time to respond right now because they're about to slap, but it's funny. Your your comment is funny. I don't think you even want to respond. Dude, look at how much bigger. I don't think Rivera's going to have much. Dude, Rivera's going to have such a hard time finding his chin, guys. Tognoni's wrapping right hand on three for Russell Rivera. Okay, I'll give you a measure. Measure. He will, he will, he will wind up twice and then slap on three. One. Two. He's going to slap. He's going to slap. He's going to slap. Clubbing, I think. Flinch! Yeah, because he hit him on the air, but it was trying to flinch. Yeah, good, good call, Froggy. Russell KOs him in one slap. Well, he'll get his second slap here. He did. He was able to reach him, no problem, so that's good. I was worried about how much he's going to be able to reach him. What's up, TKH? Hope you're doing well, man. He flinched, obviously. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't catch that. It's been a while since I've been watching the slap. Thanks, everyone, for being in here. If you're a real slap enjoyer and you just enjoy the, the beauty of uh, combat sports and turn-based violence, drop a like on the stream. If you're a slap chat and you don't care, uh, and you don't care, you're not ashamed of it, dude. If you're ashamed, don't. I don't want any fucking half-hearted slap enjoyers uh, liking the stream, okay? All right. Cody Bilal's about to take a second friggin' slap of the match. Hopefully he eats this one, boy. Pair of soft chin gets put out by that. Yo, Alex Pair would not last in slap, dude. Uh, Jamal Hill may and shit like that, but Alex Pair would not. You're 100% correct. 
Like he actually would lose the scrubs in power side, which is crazy to think about. The power, MMA fighters are scared. Okay, measure for Russell. He's taking his second slap due to a foul. He's going to... He's on skates. Oh, this is probably going to be a standing TKO. Chong Yodi's right about to wave this off. Walk to me, walk to me, walk to me. It's done. It's done. And this is what we're here for. Two for flinching, you fucking coward. That's what you get, cat boy. I said it in my prediction video. Russell Rivero will put the cat boy out. Early stoppage. Totally fine stoppage. He was on fucking skates. Exactly, Pinaldo. Totally. No way he recovers. Are you questioning uh, Chris Tognoni's stoppages? Trevor? Guys, don't forget that this sport is uh, refereed by real UFC refs. Mark Smith, Chris Tognoni, um, Kerry Hatley, and uh, the, the quick little guy with the brown hair. Fuck, why am I forgetting his name? Who's the quick little guy? Are they calling a stepping foul? No, are you just saying that? Who's the quick little guy? Not Mazagati. Why am I forgetting his name? He's like always around. Does Herzog. Yeah, they have four consummate professionals uh, refing this sport. There's no chance it's rigged, Monk Monty. Tongnoni's refing. He didn't step. That was totally fun. Shut up, Healy. Why is Dan Healy talking about stepping? You're allowed a slight little step. Well, look at all the uh, people uh, videotaping in the crowd. People are uh, losing their mind for the power slab, bro. Uh, Sean Zetramali, thank you for the five-month membership, Bruno, dude. I appreciate you fucking sticking around nearly. Well, you're in your half a year at this point. If you get that, you're in your six months. So you're technically a six-month six month rigger, bro. I appreciate you. Can I invest? Invest in the RSL. We will absolutely make it a reality. Because I think that's even a better idea. I know we were talking about having like... Uh, ethnic fc and all sorts of things we'll put on matchups between chinese and taiwanese but this is actually a realistic possibility the rigo slap league slap power uh, power slap feeder league 100 percent, bro bisbee on commentary yeah, bro bisbee's on commentary bisbee and dan healy are on commentary so it's, it's a professional organization stepping are they calling stepping i don't know they haven't said anything ethnic fc yeah seriously they need someone needs to capitalize um yeah, your heel is allowed to come off the ground. Good point, Pinaldo. It's if you pivot. Yeah. Because they realized a lot. They realized that if just your foot's coming up and shit, it's like you're not. A lot of times it's like just your sh like these sports shoes and shit are designed. That are, you know what I mean? Like it's fine. Happy for Rivera. Good win for Rivera. Clean win. It was a clean slap. I don't have a problem with it. We go up by the side on top. I'm a power stop analyst, bro. I don't want to compete. I respect these guys too much to even think. Listen, like, you know how the guys like MMA Guru will be like, why would I ever want to fight in the UFC and get punched in the head for money? I can make more money than them. I, on the other hand, don't even think, like, I wouldn't dare to compete in power stop. I have too much respect for these athletes. And I don't have this type of crazy arrogance that I think I could do it. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to cope and be like, I could do power slap. I'm just a power stop analyst at the end of the day, my man. Power stop is more views than F1, NBA, and NFL combined. Yes, it does, FP Santos. Very correct. You watching the PFL? Hell no, Aaron. If I just ended the broken thumb, blah, we watching slap, cuz. PF what? I just watched Russell Rivero put Cody Belial out on his feet, bro. Standing TKO. You saved that broken thumb, shit. Is Powers, uh, is Powers off event at the Apex? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here comes the MMA group crying rats. No, no, no. Let's hear raise five inches. Anyone here from New York? Do we have a sports hook we can bet on? Uh, if you go to the Power Slap website, bro, you should find... Uh, go to Power Slap website. It should get you for your state where you can bet. I'm like... Guru started watching the UFC in the money. Lying. Athletes is a stretch. Shango. Technically, if you play croquet competitively, you are an athlete. If you play chess competitively, you're an athlete. Let's not start this. They are, by definition, athletes. No one's saying they're freaking Michael Phelps, bro. Okay. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The, the, your your four-year-old nephew 
who's playing soccer is technically, like, by definition, an athlete. All right? So, I'm just using the word pretty loosely here. Let's not get let's not get to gamers athletes. Technically, if you're playing e games competitively, you're technically an athlete. And if if someone tries to draw a distinction between that, just bring up chess, because chess is like a non physical competition. If you're saying that moving your fingers is a physical activity like this, then so is doing this, right? Um, and you know it's hard to draw a difference because well, it's funny gamer and sport in English in the English language. English is funny because it has a lot of, um, I don't remember the exact word, but they're like words that are so similar that they actually, so when English became a language, right? It developed out of middle English into modern English, like what Shakespeare would ever spoke when we now speak. But when it was middle English, it had a lot of French loan words from Norman. It basically became the first Creole language in human history, funnily enough, because it's a French, it was a French and English Old, it was Anglo-Saxon and like Norman French merging into what would become Middle English. And uh, there became all these duplicate words. And the English lexicon blew up and you got words like game, which are from Anglo-Saxon, and sport, which are from uh, Norman English. Uh, or, or sorry, Norman French, just French in general. And those mean the exact same thing. And technically, even strictly today, they still mean the exact same thing. But game has a more a narrow definition of something that's more trivial now because it's just how the English language developed over fucking a thousand years to mean that. Because we don't, it, people in any language don't like having two words that mean the exact same thing. It's like unnecessary. So they just split off. But technically a sport and a game are the exact same thing. Hence why you're playing a soccer game. It's a sport, right? Uh, but whatever. There's my linguistics rant about that. <coughs> Is limbo a sport? If you did it competitively, yes. Marina, that whole thing was a myth. Because to make something a sport in English, it has to be competitive, separating it from a game. Limbo would just be a game if you're just playing it at a party. Like, that's not competitive, technically. I'm, I wouldn't necessarily put toddler soccer into actual sport or athlete. But it technically is. It's a sport. They're doing a sport. But how competitive and how serious are these kids actually playing it? You should have been disqualified. Chess is gay, at least. Play poker for money. Well, you could say poker's a sport. You could say card playing's a sport. Absolutely. Dude, bocce ball is a sport and shit. There's basically words that are so similar that we use certain words for Yeah, and we'll like, yeah. And and then some people will kind of nitpick the differences, but when you actually break them down, if you even look at English dictionaries, they'll be like, oh, it's like such a minute difference. And if anything, they're the same. It's just their narrower definitions split off from each other, but they actually have the same like strict. Uh, what's it called? Like denotative definition. And they just have different connotations. English was actually the first language that the Sumerians spoke. That's based as hell, dude. I never believe I, I, It's true. Is this guy a historian? No, I have a, I, I'm more of a linguist, to be honest. No, he's just called. Play. No, I have a degree in linguistics. You can listen to me. Oh, yo, this guy, Mike Wallace, Ryan Wallace, sorry, commented on my Power Slap video. If he wins, we got to go over and show him some love on his comment he left on my uh, my predictions video. Because I was like, I don't remember who this guy is. And he didn't have a picture up. I'm like, I don't really know who he is. I think he might lose. And I just said, I'm like, I don't know anything about him. I'm just going to pick the other guy because I don't know him. And he commented on my video going, you're going to know me after this weekend, bro. Also, I'm the guy who sent uh, some other guy into retirement. And I was like, all right, well, base, base. I like the attitude and shit. So we got to show Ryan. Well, so, yo, he's working the crowd up. He's a showman, blood. I like him. I like him, dude. He's working the crowd up. Let's go, blood. Parasite gives up more CT than MMA. No, it doesn't, though, at the end of the day, bro. Open palm, meaty slaps versus a high kick. You know what I mean? Kids playing spuckers are sure. Yeah, it is. It is. You're right. Because it, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I've played poker for 15 years. It's not a sport. It is, though, bro. When you gamify something, it becomes a sport. Yeah, look at me. We're gamified. Based, Mike Yam. Based. Hope Quinones can get a win for once. Technically, you can make anything a sport, bro. You can make bloody knuckles a sport. You can make rock, paper, scissors a sport. Mike Yim is right. And it's hilarious and ironic. It's, it's witty. He used gamify blood. Well, because I guess what else would you use in that? But it's correct. Because Noam Chomsky of MMA. Noam Chomsky is a bit of a interesting theory there with the uh, 
language organ shit, right? I don't know how I actually feel about that now in a few years since I graduated. What kind of weak ass degree is a degree in linguistics? Why do you think I'm here? Why do you think I'm here? I'm doing a power slap companion right now. Shout out all my slapping jersey. Power slap is the best sport on earth. And I actually wouldn't rather be anywhere else. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else than uh, covering power slap right now. Thoughts on Chomsky as a linguist? Chomsky, a lot of his ideas are based on these crazy, like, uh, assumptions, right? Which I guess you got to start somewhere, but. So linguists. Uh, linguistics isn't isolated in a bubble and so you actually with increased advances in like archaeology and you know discovery of like high old bones from like high old bones from like proto-humans and stuff that actually helps with linguists uh, linguistics especially if you start doing that type of stuff that a lot of not Trump, Trump, he has so many theories he's been active in the field for so long i don't know everything but he's like claimed the fame is like the language organ shit right and that uh, humans just have this like innate ability to speak language that came out of nowhere or something like shit like that. It's not the most respected theory anymore because it's also kind of been disproven, I guess, with evolutionary biology. But that's if you even believe in evolution. Anyway, let's start. Let's. I don't want to talk about linguists. Right? We've got this cool matchup between Quinones and um, what's it called? You look at the power slap ring girls. They're so sexy, bro. Holy crap. No, don't lust after them, dude. Holy shit. The fuck, dude? Is Khabib right? Like, why are these women here, bro? Just making me lust, Pinaldo. I know, bro. Thank you for telling me the same advice I gave to you this morning over Laura Sanko, dude. Anything can be a sport. The level of the is a bit different. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it, uh, Tarzan Stricter. It's a really good way of putting it. I have a Chomsky book, but it's about anarchism. Oh, true. Well, yeah, he became like a schizo anarchist in his old age. Turpin Mogs Wolverine. Such a based username. That's such a base username, dude. What about a video game? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Video sports sounds stupid. Well, it's tech. Yeah. See, at the end of the day, it is. Like, esports is stupid. That's why they put the preface E, right? Okay. Carrie Hatley's refing this matchup. That's sick. WMMA isn't a sport. John Williams, dude. Based as hell, dude. It's not. Hey, depends on the level of athleticism, right? Well, so it's not a fucking sport. Anarchist theology is based on nihilism because they're implying there's no good or evil. Everything just is. Yeah. Anarchism Anarchism is a very, like, in my opinion, juvenile or senile philosophy. Hence why most anarchists are either teenagers or literal doddering old men. <laughs> or schizos. Oh, what? Whoa! I missed the slap! Quinones, I just turned my eyes right down and saw the slap. I didn't miss it, but I forgot to measure it for you guys. Clubbing foul, but Wallace ate that shit, Pinaldo. Yo, I think Wallace is going to get this done, and I'm happy to get my pick wrong in this one, dude, because this guy looks like a real showman and a real chin on him. Real chin on him, bro. Yo, this guy who clubbed them is a SpaceX engineer or something like that. He does, like, soft – I don't know what he does for SpaceX. Like, he's not, like, a rocket engineer. He works for SpaceX doing something. He's like a, he has like a, actually like a master's and like some crazy shit. And he's in power slap. Yo, if you think you're too good for power slap, the people in the space industry don't. Who's, who's a dumbass now? Hey, space cocks. Okay. One, two, three. Big, big, big connection for Wallace. Immediate red, redness on the face of Quinones. Quinones ate it pretty well. But it's an easy, uh, I guess, I guess an easy 10-9 for uh, Wallace. Rigo so behind. No, I'm not. Oh. I was a little bit behind. I just hit live on. Listen, Rumble's a shit app. It'll just randomly get behind. Okay, I'm going to smooth this pool. What? Two? Three. Ooh. Ooh. Big slap. He didn't really eat that one. He stumbled. Dan Healy's commentary is bad there. He did not eat that. He stumbled back onto a foot. Watch the replay. The 
Sponsor gefragt. Okay, sorry. Roar, yeah, yeah, and my ball, oh, fucking nice ball hit. No, it wasn't really good, to be honest. I saw it clogged. I'm, I got nothing I can clear it with either. So I'm not smoking anymore tonight. All right, let's go. But that's good. I got to pay attention to this. So Ryan Wallace, second slap, round two. Two. And we got the third. Boom, baby. Oh, he just wins all squint eyed and shit. Yo, can Jonas just go all Oh, he got a stepping foul. Wallace got a stepping foul. That's actually a point deduction. That's actually a point deduction. Oh, it was a point deduction for clubbing in the first round. Right? Yes. Damn. Why does it look like a flinch? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't see what you saw there, Matt. I didn't see a, a, a flinch. It was a big step, though. Slow motion make it look more like a bitch. Yeah, the slow motion is a little bit hard to tell because everyone's face has a neat, like, it's just... Unless your eyes are closed, you're going to move your head a little bit. Who are we rooting for? I don't really know. Like, I'm probably rooting for the Wallace guy, I guess. But I don't care. Me, the best man win this matchup. 30 fight. They're both new into the sport, Tarzan. Give them a chance. But Are they tied now? It's hard to score. Yeah, well, uh, Michael Bisbee has them 18-18, which isn't uh, not a bad scorecard. I, I would have it the same, actually. So, shout out, Michael Bisbee. Wallace has some Mr. Fantastic arms. You always flinch at the very last second. Yeah. It's literal reflex. Or what's it? Yeah, it's like a reflex. His elbow beans backwards. I like the way Wallace slaps. He's got a good slap. He's got a good hard slap. Good hard slap. Just needs to clean it up. Vern is such a cringe weirdo. I don't mind Vern Cathy, bro. Why is he a cringe weirdo? All right, Quinones. We're in round three. Quinones is about to slap. This is not the cleanest fight, but it's been decent so far. Quinones is measuring. He's winding up. One, two, three. Oh, bye bye. Vacation's over! Vacation's over! Oh, he's up to his fucking feet! Yo, this guy's a dog! He's a chat! Oh, they waved it off! Come on, Hadley! Let him be a warrior! Let him be a warrior! This is incredible! It is! It's the best sport! It's the best show on television. Early stoppage recovered. I think that was a bit of an early. I think I would have let him be a warrior, bro, if I was Kerry Hadley there. You let you let Bobby Green eat 50 fucking follow-up shots. You can't let this guy eat another slap. He wouldn't have even had to eat one more. He just got to deliver one. Dude, he should. you should automatically get to deliver your last slap. Should you not? Unless you're clean cold. This is power slap. Yo, shout out Kendall Berryman with the based uh, Carrie Hartley edit, dude. Good to have you in chat, Kendall. Carrie, Kendall Berryman has a hilarious edit on his channel of uh, uh, me and screaming over the Bobby Green, Carrie Hartley finish. If you're going to be a stellar ref, I think I'd, I'd be a good, I'd be very good. I wouldn't let anyone get too, too hurt, but I, I'd let the fans have a, the fans would get their money's worth. Let's just say that. And I'd let these guys, I know like certain fighters, the thing with the ref is sometimes it's totally fine with the early stoppage if you know the guy is out. Like, he doesn't want in the fight anymore. This guy is a dog, and he wanted to stay in that, bro, and he only had one more slap to deliver. I would have totally let him deliver his slap. I, I would have let him go, bro. His arms, as he fell, though, I guess that wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad, bro. It did look brutal. He got, like, like flash KO, but he was back up real quick. I was yelling vacation over as he's getting back up. I think he should have let to take his last slap, bro, because he could have taken that fight in the scorecards. Unlikely, though, because he he was to be honest, he probably would have lost on the scorecards or it went into a draw or whatever. So whatever. It's not uh, whatever. It's power slap. You wouldn't leave any questions. Not at all. The guy did a sketch impression after winning. It's kind of funny. Oh, did he? Yeah, that shit's like trending right now, dude. I don't see I getting too much of that shit in my friggin' feed, the sketch shorts and stuff. I guess you know his name. No, I'm not hating on Sketch anything, though, because a lot of it was funny. I, I was watching it. I guess that's why it's popping up in my feed. Has anyone ever been cut from Power Slap for being too bad? I don't know if anyone's ever been cut. I think they might have cut one guy for faking an injury or something. So, and yeah, it happens in boxing like a dozen times a night, the flash kill. Yeah. Yeah. And that, hence why you got that. 
Honestly, power slap needs longer than like a 10 count or whatever they're doing, eight count or whatever. They need like a 16 count or something, especially for the super heavyweights because the super heavyweights can't even roll over in eight seconds. It takes them like 30 seconds to get back to their feet, bro. You know what I mean? I hate seeing the super heavyweights. Like, it's like, dude, this guy just got knocked down because he's fat as shit. He might not, it's like, Charlie Arnold hates wearing clothes with more than one sleeve. Have you ever noticed Charlie Arnold always has a shirt on, but it has like one sleeve and then no sleeve? That's like her thing. Eh? Longer recovery time? I agree. Austin Turpin is fighting tonight, Lee Lewis. Yes, sir. It's co main event. You got a while till he probably comes out, but not too, too long. We're on the uh, second fight right now. So there's six more fights or five more fights till he comes out because he's the second last. Well, that is apparently good. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. I pay for Amazon every month and I barely use it. So I might as well. Like they usually have nothing I want to watch on Amazon. So I just pay for it to, for shipping and shit. I don't order like that much stuff. So I might as well watch something on there and get my money's worth. Right. Because if I feel like if I watch something good, that's like worth like 10 bucks, five or 10 bucks. Right? If I order a couple things. Um, His heels are up the whole time. We're calling. Listen, listen. Listen, buddy. Let's not dig too deeply into the fouls. Imagine a super ever rolling like a turtle. They do. They flop around like walruses. Slap Jesus went to jail and they fired him. <gasps> True. Slap Jesus got arrested for like um violating his parole and a whole bunch of like domestic shit and violating a restraining order and, and robbery, like robbing his domestic. Basically, Slap Jesus robbed his like baby mama or some shit, dude. Who he was already not supposed to be seen. Because he had a restraining order against him before he ever became a fucking fighter. But um, yeah, Slap Jesus is an L name and he got what he deserved, Caden, to be honest. Good point. Um, dirt bag with 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 a blasphemous name. Isn't that right, eh? Isn't that right? But uh, I was even talking to Azio Rodriguez about this. I have an interview with Azio Rodriguez. I didn't actually include this part in it because we were just talking at the end. But he was telling me, he's like, yeah. He's like, you, he's like the, they're trying to actually kind of get rid of those more like scumbag criminal guys and trying to get more like NFL players, like wash out NFL guys and like um, that actual like athletes or just, you know, guys who aren't like, you know, maybe guys who are trying to get into MMA and want to do power slap just as a way to get their name out there. Like that type of shit. They're not going to be getting the meth heads and the tweakers and the uh, ex-cons is quite like the first season did. Which is, though, why we're not getting quite as good personalities in that second season, I feel like. I completely forgot about Slap Jesus. Yeah, because he fucked his career up. He got, you know, he won a slap fight and went, and, or he, I don't even know why this guy, what this guy was doing, home invasions on his ex-girlfriend and shit. I'm about to feel my child kick for the first time. Hey, nice. Dude, and it's during power slap. Cody, if that is not, uh, if that's not like a, like a fate, like a sign. You know what I mean? Bro, Slap Jesus always a skit, so they should have known. I know, dude, I know. They probably 100%. Well, you, Jimmy, you think they're doing background checks and shit on these guys, especially in season one? Hell no, dude. Hell no. Having a camera on you and getting slapped is the worst feeling. Getting slapped out cold would be true, so. Is Armin Base for getting away with saying they would fuck you a Hulk? He's married, so it's this is one thing I have to say. Like, yeah, at the end of the day, it's funny and shit, but to be honest, hold Armin to the standard because it's crazy disrespectful to his wife. I'm not trying to white knight for some random bitch, so don't start saying that, but you know what I mean? Um, I never really, it's never, it's always a weird look. Like, I always kind of sit there and I watch, like, Laura Sanko, a married woman, flirt with Chris Weidman, a married woman, and, you know, the only Dan Healy is the only one up there just kind of sitting there, like not engaging in this weird, like flirtatious triangle between like Sanko, Weidman, and like uh, DC or whoever the third person will be up there, right? And it's usually them or whatever. And it's like, like this is weird. They're all married. Their wives may even just have this on while they're like breastfeeding their kid or like taking their kid, like picking up their kid from school. Why I mean, is this come? But they all are like Sanko's just as bad, bro. This Frank Gallagher. Oh, and you mean Weidman's come for the eye poke? Listen, Weidman's not come for poking Bruno Silva in the eyes. Come for other reasons. I don't know. She started feeling for the first time yesterday. It's been a lot. Nice, bro. It must be a this must be a cool feeling. I still haven't felt the fish frog punch yet. You gotta stop calling a kid that. Oh, block Jay Hill about to shock the world tomorrow. JSDC. Yes, he is. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. 
Slap Judas. That's a better name for him. That's a better name. That's a good one, Miltity. I like that creative. KO Chris also serial killer vibes. He kind of has perk head vibes. But you know what's funny is he seems like he's cleaned up because he used to be a lot like he's he's actually looks like he's like eating good and shit and stuff. He looked like he might have been on the perks from a workplace incident. Cause he has that KO Chris got that fused spine. He's got that fused spine. Like he fell off of roof. Like he's got a roof roofing accident and then got in the perks. You know what I mean? What bets have we got on 300 guys? I feel like it'd be more painful watching the clip getting knocked out than actually getting knocked out. Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. Just like it would be for an MMA fighter. Right? Double, triple chin shit would be good for this. Like fat guys. The child is just slapping around that womb. You can't beat them up if you're Senko's husband. No, that's funny too. Yeah, because Senko's husband's, yeah, definitely not an MMA fighter. Right? I disrespect Laura Baker for sinning because she's flirting with people who are married and bodily worship leads to sexual passion. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, I don't really quite get that. Rigo, I'm going to illegally stream UFC. I know. You already told me that, and you said you're going to blame it on me. Rigo, what is the vape flavor of mango? Why is just a scumbag in general? Stanko being a horse should be obvious. How many Rigos do a blinker? But then they don't disrespect the sinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or disrespect. Well, you disrespect the sin. Well, you should, shouldn't like the sin. Or disrespect the sin. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm not saying burn them or anything i just look at it a bit weird it doesn't even make me not watch the way in shows it's just when it happens i'm like because dan healy doesn't act that way and he's a married man and he'll even mention you know what's funny is dan healy sometimes name drops his wife when they're doing that he like shames them low-key dan healy's like a good christian man good american man football enjoyer. He's a football commentator or whatever right? look at the slap chick holy crap i know she's not married so i'm not doing anything crazy wrong right now what a lustful woman. What is going on in Power Slap? Why do they have, why is everything better at Power Slap? We get our commentary stripped down to the best of the best. Dan Haley, consummate professional play by play. Michael Bisbee, hilarious. Sexy, sexy, sexy 20 year old ring girls. Mm, Latina looking. Mm. She has a wedding ring. Shut up. I doubt she'd be wearing it right now, even if she did. Uh, Turn-based combat where you can only do one strike. There's only one possible strike. None of this gay kicking shit. No stupid elbows. No stupid knees. No defense at all. In fact, you're penalized if you try to be defensive and get out of the way. Head movement is strictly penalized with a second strike. Is there anything better than power slap, guys? Old heads love turn-based combat. Absolutely. Dude. That's why. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, no, I saw your correction, kid. All right, guys, we got Mark Smith refereeing this matchup. This is a matchup between Colton Cole and uh, Alan Klingbell. I believe they're at 205, right? Big boys. This is pure macho excellent. It is. It's the best board on freaking Earth, dude. How many slaps are Damien and Ryan? Um, thinking under 5.5. How many slaps are Ron and Austin? Thinking under four. No, I don't. I think Ron and Austin should go to the decision again, bro. It went to the decision in the first fight. I don't know if I'd bet an under on that one. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'd bet that one going to finish, but Ryan Damien should probably probably put out Ryan Phillips. But Ryan's tough enough. All right, hold on though. We got Colton Cole measuring up on Klingbao right now. One, two, three. Woo, oh, yo, clubbing foul. Uh, Klingbao ate that, but immediate swelling. Shit, bro. Klingbao has that soft, uh, lowland German skin. He's like a Dutch farmer or something. He's got a very swellable skin. Clubbing foul. That's a big hit, dude. He basically palm striked him right in the freaking eye. That's dirty. I don't know if he meant to do that, but that's dirty. What's clubbing? Basically two things. So if you hit with a part of your, if you lead with a part of your hand, that's not your palm. For example, like this part of your palm. So if you lead like this, that's clubbing. If you lead, I think you have to lead with like all of it. The same, like you can't lead with a specific part. You feel me? Or hit outside of the target area. So if you strike him in the neck, the nose, the eye, any of those areas, like deliberately, like it doesn't like just slide over it. Cause obviously that's normal or whatever. 
the clubbing is yeah outside of the target area or not striking with like a full flat palm all at once like a f- actual slap like turning it into a palm strike or something i arguably i think they should be two different fouls personally i think uh striking with a palm should be a worse foul than just accidentally like missing the target area kind of growing strikes and power slap imagine power growing strike Because the palm strikes are almost like concussive. Like it's one thing just to get slapped in the ear. It's like a whole other thing to get concussed with a palm strike on your freaking orbital or like in your nose or some shit. And then the guy gets to slap you in the next round, right? Um. Anyway, guys, we got uh, Kling Bale taking his first slap now in round one against Colton Cole. He's measuring. I think he's slapping on three. One. Oh, two. Three. Kling Bao's garbage, bro. He does this every fight. He's had I've seen this guy fight like three freaking times, dude. I'm a huge Kling Bao fan. Turpin, Mods, Wolverine. Why, bro? Bro's got the crappiest windup. It doesn't work. He's done it every fight he's been in. What is this? He does this weird, stupid windup where he gets no power. I want to see him actually do a full torque into someone. Like, I like him, whatever. He's not a bad guy or anything. I just... I can't like his slaps. They're garbage. And he also got a foul doing that. How do you do a foul and no wind up and a foul? It's like, oh, throw away your slap and take a point too while you're at it. Oh, they did call a flinch. Guys, they did call a flinch. It was a foul on the other guy. Sorry. There's a foul on Colton Cole. King Bell's getting a second slap. I think he's just going to do the same freaking thing with his weird little windup. Yeah, two, three. Big, oh, big slap. They call him for flinching again? What's going on in this fight? Another one? So I think it's either a point or Klingbal gets to, to strike again. It's his choice. I think Klingbal either gets to take a third slap or he gets to take a point, right? Or they just change it to an automatic point deduction on the second flinch. It's not really. I didn't think that one was necessarily a flinch. The weird wind up making him flinch. Yeah, and it's not really a flinch. Yeah, Louie. They're saying leaning into it. I didn't, nah. I didn't see that. Maybe the first one more ju- like justifiable flinch. I don't think that was a flinch. But whatever. I'm not going to care. The fuck Mark said the bad claw. That's a club. He's doing a really weird thing where it's just like, it's, you know, when guys like will pu- use their fingers in MMA, that's kind of like what's going on right now. He's like gaming it a little bit. I don't think he should. Mark Smith should be warning them both. Whatever. He's taking another slap. Tognoni's coming over as a review official. But Mark Smith just told off Tognoni. Tognoni is such an idiot. He just came over to make sure the guy's not disqualified as they're proceeding with the fight. What the hell are you doing, Tognoni? You, you fucking dummy. The three ref stooges, dude. Okay, Klingbell's taking his third slap in the first round. This is crazy. All right, guys, he's measuring. This is such a mess of a fight right now. One, two. Three, boom, massive slap. Big slap, what? Did he flinch? Okay, they're calling a good slap, even though it looked like he actually freaking flinched that time. Tognoni acted like he got CT. Tognoni's dumb as shit, dude. I like Tognoni, but he's dumb, dude, sometimes. Like, that was a completely unnecessary thing to interrupt Mark Smith right there. It's like, just wait two seconds and figure out what's going on. Oh, wait, they're not stopping it. Why? He stopped the action to tell them not to stop the fight. He's senile. That's actually like an old person thing to do. Excellent defense. You just ate three slaps. I know, Captain. I know, but they're not great. King Klingbell is like weird with his slaps. So Cole could take this. He's just he has no points taken. Look at his face, though. He's actually showing cuts. He's cut. Okay, second round. Colton Cole is winding up for his slap, guys. One. Two, he's gonna slap on three. Three. Big slap, big slap. Oh, he's oh Klingbell pretty much ate that. Good slap, Mark Smith said. 
Well, well, well. Bit of a flinch. I can't even tell anymore, dude. I can't even tell anymore what's a flinch or not at the end of the day. Turpin getting a K on the first two rounds. I, dude, I'm not picking Turpin, Paul Revere. I'm picking Wolverine. Wolverine won the, re uh, the first fight. Pretty clean. I know he ate some big slaps from Turpin towards the end. But I just think Wolverine's got, got it again. I don't think it's been enough time for Turpin to improve. Excuse me. Hiccuping. I'd be happy to be wrong, though. Happy to be wrong. Oh, shit. My headphone died. Bad time for that to happen. Fuck. Yo, there's 40,000 people watching this live on Rumble right now. What? Both my headphones are dead? What the fuck? Doesn't even make sense. Dude, these AirPods are dog shit at this point. I'm just using wired headphones. Uh, 40,000 live viewers. Hey, Rigo. Hey, child. I hope everyone's having a slap at night. Hey, you too, Aflo. What's good, bro? Child, what's good, Quandel Pringle? Yeah, he did eat that. He did eat that, Mountain Man. Sorry, I'll get this uh, back to my live here. I think I just missed a slap. Oh, clubbing. Massive clubbing. They're showing... They're showing a replay. I just I missed the slab, but they're showing a massive thing. Sorry for the soy question. What if you're left-handed? You just slap with your left, bro. Doesn't change anything. Fight goes the same, right? There's no difference. There's no difference. You just slap, slap them on the left side of their face. Okay, cling, uh, Colton Cole slapping. Big slap. Oh, they're calling a stepping foul. Klingbo's technique is so bad. Yeah, I'm not a fan of his technique, but I mean, this guy's also like a... Oh, Cole got disqualified. Well, that was a little bit of a lackluster, anticlimactic, and climatic ending, or the fuck, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. That was not a good fight, not a good ending, but we had two good fights before that, so. Um, oh, I picked Colton Cole. What a dummy. Well, I'm 2-0 and oh for pick, or 2-1 and one for picks on slap so far. Didn't seem like a club. He lowered his head a lot. They didn't call a club. They didn't call a club. They didn't call a club. They called a, a pivot on the other guy at the end there. He minds up too much. That's why he loses his balance. You don't look tough. Send me a giant phallic symbol on the table. <laughs> Ain't nothing. It's cooler to emote. You know what I mean? Like, I like when the guys pretend like they're eating cereal, dude. Nothing. When the, the crazy Hawaiian eats the, eats the meal, that makes me lose my shit. Cole mugged himself. Yeah, I guess it's a W for Cole in one way. They need some more leeway and only calling egregious fouls. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. He's too tubby. My son, I picked Wolverine. Don't call me my son. I'm not You're my son. I picked Wolverine first fight. He's getting slept tonight. Lock, king, of power slap is spoken. You're not the king. You had fluke picks. Buddy, I'm two and one tonight. What are you? What's your picks tonight? Uh, my name is Sean. What do you want picks? Any women in this card? No, not tonight. Yeah, yeah. They don't really have that many. There's only a couple. I'd wear some T-Mac 2s or something that can get the cameras or even just some Converse or some shit. I eat that. Oh, emote is so dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The South African's belly dance and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. When he, when he pulls up this shirt and starts shaking his fat a walrus gut around, that's goaded as hell. What's good, ZZZ? Good win for Klingbell, I guess. You don't look tough point fighting in a cage for 15 minutes either. It's true, it's true, it's true. Cringe, happy dad, dad. Bitch, he's my son. Okay, I'm 2-0. Oh. You can't be 2-0. Oh. There's been three fights. Careful talking positive about South Africans. I like the guy from uh, the South African power slap fighters. One of my favorite slappers. I don't hate South Africans. They're chill. Funny guys, usually. Ain't nothing. Happy guys for teenagers. <laughs> ironically, which is crazy. Iron ironically, yeah. It's weird. It's, fucking, it's like Jewel. It's like targeted to like young adults and teenagers. He shouldn't even be drinking, technically. Yellow with his mouthpiece in. BKFC is more chat than Power Slap. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You're correct. BKFC is more Chad than Power Slap than UFC. Never seen someone at the bar drinking Happy Dad. I've never even, yeah, same, 
saying, but I don't really go to the bar that much. I dread black air force. It's got to have that degenerate energy. DKFC is dope, but more child, not even comparable. It kind of is, though. They're like splitting each other open and shit. If it was turn based, it would be 100% the most child. I'm 3 0, my bad. I don't believe you. I just got here. I put 1 0. That's impossible as well. So you're 1 and 2. Because you didn't pick, if you didn't pick a fight, that counts as a loss by name Deshaun. One and two. Nice to hear it. XQC and in roster streaming at Power Slap. I know. Imagine growing up with Power Slap. What a privilege. I saw that. I saw that. Turpin ended Wolverine with his first slap. No, I don't think so. I'm off my meds. Bro, XQC is estrogen filled dickhead. True. BKFC is deaf chat. Who's that interviewer? Charlie or note. Charlie or note. See, even the interviewers at Power Slap are better than like uh, Megan Olivia and shit. Just started watching Power Slap and downloaded Rumble on my TV. Nice. Watch it with my dad. Nice. He's actually getting into it and liking it. Nice, bro. Nice. Nice. Well, that's actually, that's great, bro. Some bonding time with the old pops over some slap, dude. That's awesome. Imagine if Power Slap threw punches, then it would be more Chad. Power punch. Power hook. Yes, it would. ZZ, you're making two good points so far. Power Slap is, for the, is the boulder's gate of combat sports. Charlie got yours. Oh, we got KO Chris. Yo, guys, I want to grab a bottle of water. I'll be back in two seconds. See you at the kitchen table. Your greens are next. Who's the GOAT power slapper? Arguably Wolverine, bro. Arguably Wolverine. I'm rooting for KO Chris. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool to see KO Chris with the win. But I mean, Blackburn's not a bad guy or anything. I agree. I just had to ask that because Turpin thinks he's ending it first time. I don't think so, Paul. What do you see? How do you see that fight going? I'm personally picking old Wolf. Old Wolverine, the GOAT. Bro, watching power slap with his dad and still watching the regal commentary. That's base as hell, dude. I claim adoption over Rigo. No. No, 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 no. My father is watching Pirates Up from Heaven. Yes, Foggy. Excellent perspective, my friend. Blackburn is cool. Blackburn is a cool guy. He's not, he's not, uh, he's a dog. He's an absolute dog. He's, he's taking some crazy beatings and shit. Oliver asked me if Anthony has downs and she wasn't joking. Yo, this car is going crazy quick, actually. We're already at the feature prelim, boys. This is a crazy quick car. You can see at the kitchen table. Oh, I hear that. Way more than two. She said if he wins, it's hard strength. I think KO Chris's opponent has downs. Blackburn does not have downs. When's the first girl matchup? There's none tonight. There's none tonight. UFC is ruining power slap events with this shit. Yeah, I don't want to see UFC promo and stuff. A kid I went to school with is going to be on this season of power slaps. Roach, oh, no way. Tucker Carlson, 2024. No way. In the lightweight division, cool. Look out for Anthony King DeFrank. Absolutely, bro. I'll keep my eye on him. He's a white drill rapper. Absolutely keep my eye on him, bro. I will be watching the season, talking about it on the channel for sure, for sure. So I will keep my eye out for old Anthony DeFrank. That's cool. We got Anthony Blackburn versus Chris Thomas coming up right now. They are pumping through the fights on this card tonight. What's up, Trooper Perfection? They mean the bell sexually mogs Jamal Hill. He actually does. He actually does. Damien DeVal steals fucking Jamal Hill's girl. Easy, bro. And Jamal Hill does nothing. The Mexican who beat KO Chris is nice. Um, Danny Mun Emmanuel Muniz. Yeah, Manny Muniz. Power slap casual here. No shame. No shame. We're all basically power slap casuals, bro. How established are the weight classes? They're established as weight classes, I guess. Lightweight's new. They're adding lightweight. And hence, they're going to introduce it, I guess, on that season as Tucker Carlson is adding. Because they've only had like one lightweight matchup so far. But they have... Welterweight, light heavy, or welterweight, middleweight, light, light heavyweight, heavyweight, and super heavyweight. They're all the same as you would have at UFC 170, 185, 205, 
265 and then super heavyweights just anything above that right um uh it's established, but what you're noticing is that some people are still finding their weight classes. Like we have guys who've come in at like light heavyweights in the first season and they're fighting at middleweight now, or even guys who come in at heavyweight and are now down. At, we have a guy that came in at heavyweight, uh, AJ Hans. He went over into light heavyweight pretty early on and then he became a champ there, but then Wolverine messed him up and then now he's coming down to 185. And so you're seeing people kind of try to find their weight classes or bulk up for the, you know. So it's a new sport in that regard, Quandale. Um, but they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job so far. And they're doing a good job building some stars and stuff. And they, we have rankings uh, for most of the weight, for all the weight classes at this point, even super heavyweight. They didn't have those last card, but they do now. Are you doing a recap? Absolutely. I'll have it out in the morning or afternoon tomorrow before the 300 card. It'll be way before the 300 card, probably early afternoon or whenever. Because I'm probably going to sleep in. I'm fucking tired. I didn't like nap or anything before this card. I didn't sleep a lot last night. There's a lot of solar radiation, so it's how, uh, making people having a hard time sleep. That's what uh, someone was telling me. Because I've been noticing, I'm like, I just haven't been able to sleep. It's weird. I'll be exhausted. I'll go lay down, but I can't sleep, which is really weird for me. It's not like a problem I have. Um, oh, Chris Thomas walking out. Cool. So if anyone else is having trouble sleeping right now, it's probably because of the eclipse and there's like solar radiation shit after that and stuff like that. Makes your mind more active. Lil Ma, especially at night. Lil Mabu almost cheddar bobbed himself, but use this time to be productive. That's what I've been doing. I've been just like getting up at like four in the morning too, if I can't sleep and shit, and just like working on shit. It's bigger officiating tonight. No, dude, guys, if you're an Anthony Smith enjoyer, Anthony Smith uh, uh, caught was a catcher. You see the guys who stand behind them and catch the guys who got KO'd? He was a catcher at Power Slap six a month or two ago. It was so good. I hope he comes back, dude. Bring him back for Power Slap A. He was goaded. It was great to see him there as a cameo. And uh, Forrest um, Griffin as well. All right. KO Chris, Anthony Blackburn. The One-Eyed Wolf is over at Slap Fight Championship. Yeah, for some reason, they wouldn't sanction him over here. It was weird. I liked him, dude. Good character, good slapper. Shout out from Western Uni, fam. Canadians. Hey, let's go. Let's go, Heath Logan. Good old uh, Western boy, blood. Hope you're having a good uh, end of your semester. You must be in exam season, dude. Get those uh, get those uh, good grades in, my guy. The solar radiation also gives you gay thoughts. You're crazy, dude. What's your picks? I'm going to Chris, Aziel, Hawaiian, Turpin, Debell. I'm going Chris, Aziel, Hawaii. Uh, no, I think I took the other guy. Um. Evie and Scott, I did take Evie and Scott, I do believe. Wolverine and DeBell. So I'm, I'm differing you on the two of those picks there. We can go head-to-head -head over Hawaiian and Turpin, bro. Let's do it. We're going head-to-head -head over that matchup. I'm interested to see how KO Chris's chin holds up after the Mooney's War. Yeah. Yeah, that was a massive back and forth. I used to watch the Russian slap putting matches back in 2018. I'm just looking at total slaps for Damian versus Ryan at 5.5 and Ron versus Turpin at 4. Any last-minute recommendations? Dude, honestly, at this point, like, I, go for it, bro. I have no idea. Like, these these power slaps hard to predict in that regard. Damien versus Ryan. You're not. I think you're good on that one. The only Ron versus Turpin one. I see it maybe going longer. Like, I can see it going to the distance, but I wouldn't tell you not to bet on a finish because I could see it going out down in the second. You're picking it down in the second there before the second, right? With the four slabs, yeah. And Damien DeBell was trying 3.5. It's not bad, bro. Lock it in. Lock it in. Especially the main event. All right, we got Thomas versus Blackburn. But once again, these, this sport's really unpredictable, right? Jason Herzog refing this match, guys. The GOAT, Jason Herzog. Okay, no one's measuring. I don't know I have my hand out yet. What's your, oh, I already told you my picks. Uh, pick artist, power slap, champ on paper. Okay, now we have a measure from Anthony Blackburn. Don't know why he's shaking his... Uh, his gat like that. He measured one. Oh no! Yo! No! 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 no. Ko Chris is fucked. He got knocked out of his shoes. He got knocked out of his shoes, like when you get hit by a car, dude. Is his chin done? No, he just got hit by a fucking Ford Escort, you fucktard. He got he got knocked out of his shoe. Watch the replay. 
That's li- that's literally fucking insane. How does that fucking happen? He got hit, dude. Anthony Blackburn hits like a fucking semi truck. He's knocking motherfuckers out of their laced up shoes. You didn't even know he lost a shoe. Is he 35? I don't know how old these guys are off the top of my head, bro. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the tail of the tape. All right, we've got KO Chris recovered, coming back for his own slap. One, two, he's going to slap on three. Oh, big slap. Yo, Anthony is skating around right now. He's got his balance back. He didn't drop. He did this. The ch- he did like the robot, bro, to catch himself. Anthony, or Herzog telling him to walk. Good? Okay, recover. Excellent. Yo, this is a fucking war, bro. Nah, this is a good fight so far. Both fucking hurt each other. It's an easy 10-9 for Blackburn in that first round, though, because he dropped KO Chris out of his shoe. 10-8, maybe, right? But he also got wobbled, so I'd probably say 10-9, right? Is that how we would score it? I don't know how to score power slap. This is a great fight, dude. This is a good one, Matt. Yep, yep, yep. Thomas with a good recovery. Yeah, same with Blackbird, though. He was on skates for a good couple of seconds there, and then it just froze. He did like the robot, bro. <laughs> and then it was just good. This is why this sport is electric. And Herzog is an excellent ref. Oh, they're calling a foul? Herzog called a foul. What did he call it for, Louie? I missed it. Step in. Okay, thanks, Foggy. I'm falling. I'm feeling over four, four, four total slaps. Over four total slaps. Yeah, then I agree with you on that, Paul. Sorry, I misread you before then, bro. Under five and a half total slaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot then. I like that quite a bit. I'm 100% on board with it. 100% on board with it. Dude, this is crazy. My first time catching Slap Live. Kalal, that's amazing. And we, uh, this, is, this is what I'm here for. Is a back and forth war like this, dude. A back and forth war like this. The gat shaking knocked out from Blackbird. It's so amazing. I don't know why he had to shake his fucking gat like that, dude. Remember when uh, Anders... Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Ander- Fuck, I'm blanking on his name. The MMA guy, Anders. Eric Anders did that too in his fight, bro. I don't know what these guys are up to these days, bro. All right, we got Blackford measuring. Is he going to do the gat shake? Nah, he didn't do it this round. Good. Okay. Well, oh, big out cold. KO Chris is dead. He's a dead fucking man, dude. He's totally dead. Holy crap. Oh, they're putting ice on his head. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit. Yo, Anthony Blackburn. Baby face. Yo, this is a star in the making. Give him that title shot. I want to see Anthony Blackburn hitting bombs on Manny Muniz's Mexican ass chin, dude. Because that guy, that kid can take a slap. And this motherfucker, this baby face motherfucker can dish one out, dude. Let's go, bro. And yo, Paul Rivera, thank you very much for the $5 super chat, dude. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the insight, brother, for those Kaylee prize picks. I'm taking Damian and Ryan under 5.5 and Ron Interpret. Hey, what a man of the people. Ron Interpret over 4.0. Sharing the picks with the boys here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if anyone is interested, you can find uh, an affiliated uh, better like sports book for your state or country. If you just go to the power slap website, like they linked me to like Canadian betting a sports book. And I think it like, it has like a tab there that will get you in the right direction. So you don't have to necessarily go through like a sketchy one. Like um Mike Branding and was asking about earlier. Like I'm not sure if it is available in every state though, but yeah, I hey, appreciate you Paul Rivera and good luck with the uh, Damien and uh, uh, Turpin picks, bro. You see what I'm thinking about his next career. I like that you're not picking. I like that you're just picking it based on slaps. That's an interesting way to bet the fight because it's sometimes so unpredictable to know who's going to win. Are they going to foul out? Are they going to get whatever? Something weird going to happen in this sport of power slaps. So that's an interesting way to bet it by the uh, basically by the like the slap. That was a great fight, though, dude. That was a great fight. You can't pull guard in power slap anymore. No, sir. Blackburn Baphomet tattoo. He has Baphomet power. Dude, Blackburn's a dog, man. He's still with us. Yeah, KO Chris is back to his feet, bro. Blackburn has the clean wind-up follow-through. He's got a very nice form. Very nice form. They're bringing the stretcher. He's back. He's good. 
KO Chris is a dog. KO Chris bang me back too soon. Arguably, bro. That was such a crazy war. He went through with many Muniz. Let's go, Mason. How's this live? It's been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. I'd say eight out of ten cards so far. One bad fight, one bad messy fight. What's up, Vegas? How was the slapping been? Just got back three out of four good fights so far. Great fights. Just got back for my brother's 18th birthday. Well, happy birthday to your bro. Mason, happy birthday to your bro, bro. Hope you had a great time. Hope you can enjoy the main card now. Power slap, dude. Over four slaps is like two rounds. It's yeah, it'd be going into the third. As long as it makes it into the third, I guess. Like as long as you get that fifth slap. Yeah. Well, that's you, Paul, saying it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you know. KO Chris looks healthier, but slaps are worse. KO Chris is genuinely a good guy, but hopefully everything goes well. Of course, of course. Damn, I can't believe that result. I picked KO Chris. Serious Safari in the couch. She's going to show me her bush. She actually did. That's crazy. Why is Chris fist bumping? Because he loves the sport. At, Chris is an athlete at the end of the day. He just likes to compete. He doesn't care about winning. Okay, why did this Anthony Blackburn guy, yo, did you guys just see what he just did? He's like, I'm trying to keep my emotions down right now and just went, I want to explode and rolled it fucking eyes, dude. But he didn't explode. Like he didn't start yelling or anything. He just was like, I just want to explode. Like he literally said it like that. Explode on Charlie. He didn't even mean it that way, bro. In fact, he looked the other way and rolled his fucking eyes. Baphomet tattoo. Baphomet tattoo. This guy is a real Peyton Taube, is all I'm going to say. Blackbird is so autistic. I didn't expect that from Bilal, not him. Same if he, no, he did not mean explode that way, bro. Okay, oh, Chris is the first champion to come wash. Creeper. Nah, I think he's just actually literally really excited. I'm just busting his balls. Because you can hear it in his voice. He's like super excited. He's fired up. I love how they pull out the cock chair when you get KO'd. Recap dropping tonight. Hey, nice, Cody. I'll make sure to check it out, bro. Going next door to the film after. Base this hell, bro. Base this up. Get in on that, that slap hype, my guy. Yeah, now he's screaming. I don't think he actually just wanted to scream in Charlie Arnott's face. I was calling him. He did look sus the way he tried to control it and shit because he was feeling good. Charlie just touched him. And now you can see the testosterone coming at him because he's doing real low manly screams now and shit. I was just busting his balls. Great win from Anthony Blackburn. That was an extremely impressive performance. Showed a great chin. Delivered two absolute bombs. You've been streaming like a madman. Never been happier. We, we've been going hard this week with the videos and the streams. Um, especially the last couple of days with the streams. Because I know I was slacking a bit earlier in the week. Um, but yeah, I appreciate that, Gonzo. Appreciate that, Gonzo. Let's get, hey, yo, boys. Let's get this stream to 50 likes. All right? I'm going to pull a line under the old pick em book. Get this, you want to be in a low like power slap stream? Guys. Not 50 likes. Prove that Power Slap is the most popular sport right now. Ram up the likes. 60. All right? Because Power Slap is getting more. There's 40,000 live viewers on this freaking app right now. More than Formula One, NFL, and NBA streams get combined. It's an actual fact. You can look it up. No one's talking about cable television. Dana never said. Dana never said cable television. And no one happens to watch legacy stick and ball sports on streaming apps. Okay, Dana, he's kind of right because it's like no one watches them through streaming apps. Like, you know what I mean? Everyone's watching them on cable television pretty much. Maybe some guy at work has got it up on his phone. You know what I mean? But if, you, if you're watching a football game, you're watching on your TV for the most part. You don't watch on your phone through an app. I hit like by game and see. Yeah, I appreciate it. And we dropped the like on it. I appreciate it. I, get, I gaslight you motherfuckers into liking it. Definitely a three on the tism scale. It, uh, yeah, Blackbird Jeffs just got some tism. Man, he better be working that chain. This guy, dude, this guy's got some crazy power, dude. He's got some crazy power. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see Blackburn uh, get the title shot. Your finger equals vape. Button equals Talbot's bomb. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's how I go to though. LR Jamie, what's good, bro? I didn't even watch Trigger Picks fully, but bro, I'm so blessed to have you. Let's go, LR Jamie. Hey, you don't need to necessarily watch the picks for the slap fight. Just enjoy it, bro. I'll be doing a recap, though, for it, too. Uh, hey, Conor McGregor is never my friend. Welcome to the fucking stream, blood. So if I'm, oh, you see you there. 300. What read your, uh, oh, you just typed the same thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I, I was about to actually probably get to you there. But hey, I appreciate you for the super chat, Conor McGregor. 
300k should go to the slab. Athletes, not the UFC fighters. Show me one single example of a groin shot or eye poke. Oh, wait, you can't. Real men slap. That is one of the most base fucking takes I've ever actually heard in my life. I was literally saying this this morning. I think $300,000 is you know, like an extraordinary amount of money. Like an extraordinary amount of money. And it could be much better served instead of giving it to these greedy, entitled MMA fighters. Who at the end of the day, no one here is making 10 for 10 on this card. Like 10 for 10 is like rough when you first start in the UFC. It's like low, but you can get up quick after a few contracts. Yeah, I feel for my 10 and 10 brothers. And they definitely need those 50K bonuses. And 300K would go for a long way. Everyone on this card is on a great contract. They don't need money. So I agree, bro. Like, if anything, if they, like, I would love to see Max Holloway. I'm actually calling for this right now. Max, when you win your 300K bonus, donate half of it to the Power Slap athletes from the night before. You can split it between all 16 athletes, $150,000. Donate $160,000 to all 16 athletes on this Power Slap card. If you are a true man of the people. Bet you won't. Bet he won't. A female child translator for Wei Li. She was a Chad. She was a Chad, that Chinese woman. She looked like a spy, though. Hey, but thank you, Conor McGregor. Dude, I hope you're enjoying the slaps. SoundCloud? Play my music in the background? I'm not playing your music in the background right now, LR Jamie. Where's slap streaming? Uh, bro, uh, Lunatic King. It's pinned in the message up at the top, dude. Uh, that Rumble link at the top is where it's streaming. Live and free on Rumble. Will Jamal Hill say this is for OJ? Okay. Imagine. OJ didn't do nothing. They changed the gloves and it was so soy. Yeah, I saw that. I don't really know how I feel about it. What's good, bro? I only started watching right before Chris got KO. The sport always delivered. I know. Bro, you missed two good fights at the start. The third fight wasn't the greatest. And that KO-Chris matchup was just flipping insane. Oh, yo, they're showing Aziel. Guys, I want to listen to this Aziel thing. That last KO was wild. It absolutely was. Yusuf deserves to work in the mines. Dude, you, you said Sadiq Yusuf holding his hand up for $300,000 was insane to me. Do you have no shame? Like, do you have no shame? Begging for $300,000 pretty much. Okay, we, dude, this is a grudge match. This is an insane grudge match between AJ Static Hints and uh, Aziel Rodriguez. And these guys are fighting for like four for four, five for five, and they're happy for it. These guys might be making some more now because they've been here since the start. But new slap athletes fight for four for four. Type thing, and they're very happy for the money, man. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's more than like one FC pays their athletes. So one slap fighters are well paid as well, um, for what it is. I'm not complaining about like fighter pay or anything in power slap. Excuse me. Sadiq is a lock. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Translator CCP written all over. Absolutely cheeseburger. Well, I brought something to clear my bowl out because I wanted to hit one. This is a perfect fight. You, I'm gonna smoke a bowl for my boy Aziel. I do a better job with Cousin than ever did hands. AJ lost some weight. He's come down to 185, bro. He actually should be in decent shape right now. I'm excited for this matchup a lot. The UFC says new glove is designed to stop glove grabs. The mile that's common. What? Who cares about glove grabs? It's not even like an issue. It's barely an issue. How many fights does a glove grab affect? What do you think of 300 right now? Oh, it's a stacked, sick card. And obviously, I'm just kidding about the 300K bonuses. That's sick that those guys are going to get. Uh, the 300k bonuses and shit. What if Danny keeps his promise of giving a 300,000 bonus, but only gives it to one fighter? He no, because he said 1.2 million. John Dong, he's like, I'm giving out because when Sadiq was greedy and was like, why don't you guarantee three bonuses for every card or something? Like, bon we need a performance bonus, finish bonus, and fight of the night for the early prelims, prelims, and make cards. And Dana's like, no, I'm already giving 1.2 million dollars or something. He's like, I'm already giving like around a million dollars, so it's gonna be just four, you know. Some finish performance or whatever, two performances or whatever, right? And then whatever the typical bonuses. That would be funny if he just fucking didn't fucking uh get it. Yuri is a lock. I don't know if Yuri's a lock, but I'm uh I'm I might I want to pick clip. I picked Rakic, but I want to pick them. It's Azale the Fallen Angel. Azazel, yeah, 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 yeah. Azale about to commit legal. Tr oh, okay, guys, I think as yo Azale's looking to switch the hell on, bro. Azale's a dog.
I like this matchup because they're really close on stats everywhere, pretty much. Five foot nine, five foot eight, 184. Well, they're both coming in at 185, right? 70 inch, 72 inch reaches, same size hands, very close matchup, and they have a massive beef. All of them Rigo Glab Grab in nearly every fight doesn't affect that much. Well, yeah, there you go. A base hit for Power South to be free on Rumble. It's amazing. He said 1.2 million. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I can't fade War Paint Poet's hand. So that's the the two performance bonuses in Fight of the Night or whatever. Only gay risk cutters pick Lopez. <clears throat> AJ wins. Listen, I hope Azale wins. I picked Azale to win. AJ's hits crazy hard, though. But they've seemed to let people be warriors tonight. They let Kale Chris be a warrior. I think if I think Azale, because AJ doesn't have a chin. I like Azale arguably has a better chin than AJ. AJ hits harder, though. But AJ's, Azale still hits really hard. Look at him, too. He's he, He's been taking the sport really seriously. So, um, if you do become a fan of Aziel from this fight, make sure to check out my interview with him on the channel. If you just type in Rigo Aziel Rodriguez interview, you should get it. Great, goaded, goaded interview, honestly. Great, uh, great time uh, shooting the shit about Power Slap with old Aziel. So, I'm biased in this one. Have you seen AJ Hinson's street beeps? Yeah, bro. He got beat up by like an old man. Hints is taking too much damage. Definitely from light heavyweights and shit too. So that's why I did go with Aziel in this one. But it's a risky matchup, bro. It's a risky matchup. Tommy Tough Knuckles was good. They should do a power slap of former UFC fighters. I'd be here for all day friggin' long, bro. All day friggin' long. But you got to think those guys' chins might be a little bit compromised and they'd start losing to like scrubs. Imagine some MMA guy starts getting knocked out by like the absolute worst power slap fighters because they just have better chins than them. Because there's only so much damage you can do with, like, one strike. Like, MMA fighters would obviously fuck these guys up if they could throw a combo on them or anything, right? Even a slap combo, they'd probably start beating the crap out of these guys. But slap for slap. That's why it's one of the best sports, because it's, like, such an equal playing field, right? You don't even really have, like, technique and all this shit. Okay, okay, guys, okay. AJ Hintz slapping first against Azael Rodriguez, El Perro. Static versus El Perro. Static is measuring. Dude, eight, oh, look at as oh, look at Azael's face. He's staring him down. He's like, slap me, you bitch. One. Two. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Three. Three, 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 three. Ate it, bro. Clubbing and he fucking ate that shit, bro. Fucking ate it, dude. Nothing and a dirty cheater. AJ's the cheater. Slapping for that 300k bonus. Dude, that would be sick if Dana White came out and made all the UFC guys at the end of the night. He's like, it's time to announce the bonuses. Only anyone ready to slap for the money right now will be eligible for a 300k bonus. We're doing a Grand Prix right now. Winner takes $1.2 million. That would be such a sick way to end UFC 300. A slap pre. Slap. A slap pre. Sudden death slap pre. No judging, only chaos. He did miss. All slap, no power. Catch up, blood. I'm live, bro. All right. Aziel about to slap. Aziel's mewing. Aziel's literally been mewing. He talks about how he mews to make it. He's a mew mac. Bro, Aziel's a sigma male. He mews to increase his power slap chin. He's a goat. Slap free would be fire. Slap free is a fucking great idea. If you go FC channel and sort the shorts by views, a lot of the most viewed shorts are power slap videos. Yep. Okay, Aziel measured. First slap. One, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. Out barrel! He's recovered. Edges is good, though. But that's an easy 10-8 first round. For Rodriguez. Oh, Hintz is still wobbly. Tongoni might. Oh, let's go. Fucking first round TKO. El Perro gets it done. I personally think early stoppage, but whatever. Early stoppage, but whatever. I knew it. Let's go. Azio back to his winning ways. El Perro, the fucking dog, dude. SoCal chins are different. Beans from Southern California is the best base. For power slap. Hispanic chain for the win. Yes, bro. Bad stoppage, though, friend. Bad stoppage. One slap KO. 
I think it was a bit of an early stoppage. I think they should have let it go to the next round. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Elite, but it is what it is. I don't think it would have changed that much. Bruce Raff in history was bound to stop it. It is a bad stoppage. It is a bad stoppage. I, but I'm happy for Aziel. Exactly, exactly. That wasn't concussion. That was a pimp walk. Nah, he was really wobbly. And it's 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 AJ's own fault for getting that waved off, bro. You can't walk straight to the ref. Your one job. Like, you don't need to. He literally pimp walked to him. He thought, oh, I'm wobbly. So if I just try to pimp walk, he might not know it is. But Chung Yoni's a consummate professional. Bro. Downfall of Hans, the most forgetful business. Homie's ears flopping everywhere. Ajay's lost. He got put on his ass by Aziel Opera Rodriguez, bro. Early stoppage of the ring in his sport. What's good, Slapshots? What's good, Spike? Some great fights so far, bro. Ajay's has watched. I think he can still fight, dude. It's no shame to lose to the number one ranked middleweight in the world. Aziel Rodriguez is the number one ranked middleweight in the world since there's been rankings. He's basically like the title gatekeeper for uh, John... Um, They're DQing Azel Rodriguez. So Ajay Hintz wins the fight by disqualification. So, and it was an early stoppage. So it should have just been, if anything, a point deducted and Ajay's and them going to the second round. But now we get an early stoppage and the wrong guy wins. Way to take, way to, way to ruin an amazing night, Tongoni. Tar and feather, Chris Tognoni at this point. Just tar and feather, that senile old retard. Sports rig. No, Tognoni is just a fucking incompetent buffoon. He also stopped Mark Smith in the middle of the fight for no reason, the other fight, right? A couple of fights ago. He's literally senile right now, and he's de ruining Azale's record, too, giving him a five and four record instead of a six and three record and shit. This is egregious. I think, he oh my goodness. Do I need to find a way to bet on this? I think if you go to the website, you may be able to find it. Yeah, they call the clubbing foul after the fact, bro. Why? I don't know. I don't know, man. Should I just ruin the sport? I think a review official called the clubbing foul, but it's Tognoni called the fight off early. Tognoni has been trash. Tognoni shouldn't have stopped anyway. Exactly, friend. Always got to be Tognoni. Tar and feather him, Trevor. So if El Perro decided to clear pocket after the club, he would have won by DQ. I guess, Jeremy, yeah. 50,000 watching now. They don't want to see a young Hispanic. They need to do something about this, bro. Yo, Theo Vaughn's watching. Theo Vaughn's in the crowd. And um, it was Lil Yada, and he called him Lil Yachty. Dan Healy's so based, bro. They showed this rapper in the crowd, Lil Yada. And he's like, yo, it's Lil Yachty. <laughs> is there even a rapper named Lil Yachty? Isn't it? Y there is, right? But it's not him. He's like fat Lil Yachty, isn't he? Young Yachty? Or what's his name? Y it's Yachty, not Yada. The graphic is wrong. Oh, well, I'm just retarded then. I don't know what the guy looks like off the top of my head. The text was wrong. Okay. It's gay, Yachty. Lil Boat. Okay, well, it's not that funny. Then DJ Garlic's name is Lil Yachty? Oh, okay. I didn't know. I just assumed there was another rapper named Lil Yada, to be honest. It wouldn't surprise me. Like, I'm not a retard. Because, like, at the end of the day, there probably is a rapper named Lil Yada. And he probably will be famous soon. That was Lil Yachty? Okay, okay. I know, I know. Okay, Not everyone needs to correct me, guys. Aiden Ross is a small hat. Okay. That was Lil Yachty. Okay. I just saw it. Are you singing Lil Yachty lyrics or something? Lil Gay Yachty. Lil Yachty. He's a horrible rapper. Should be homeless. Yeah, I've heard like a few Lil Yachty songs. I've never heard of Lil Yachty. No, Lil Yachty is me. Yeah, Lil Yachty. Someone needs to go right now and start making SoundCloud. LR Jammy, you need to change your SoundCloud right now to Lil Yachty. Hop on that. Yeah, I'm really disappointed with that Aziel uh, shit, dude. 
I wish Mackenzie Deering they power slap with Tracy Cortez. Oh, hell yeah. Power – dude, there's a – in uh, Poland or like Ukraine or something, there's like a slap-ass league. And you know who fights there? Julian Lane. He doesn't fight in slap-ass. There's like uh, some league in like Poland or something. I think it's Poland. And that Julian Lane let me bang guy um, or whatever his name is. Is it Julian Lane? Whatever Lane. Let me bang Lane. Uh, fights there. Uh, slap fights there. And they also do like every like fifth fight is like a slap ass fight. And it's just like two Instagram, like Polish, like Instagram chicks. Who knows? Getting paid like a thousand rubles to slap each other in the ass. It's crazy. Julian Lane. Yeah, Julian Lane fights there. A couple, I think there's a couple other like a man. It's mostly like Polish guys. He's like the one like UFC guy there. And they put him on like the cover of their shit. I can't remember what the promotion's called. Okay, we got a super heavyweight matchup coming up here. You know what music you listen to? I've been listening to a lot of that new future. I like future a lot. So I've been liking that new future Metro Boomin album. It's pretty good. And uh, I, I don't know. I like it. I mostly listen to rap music to be honest. But I listen to a lot of different stuff. I listen to like shit. Like you hear them in videos and stuff. Do you think they should do power slap with leg kicks? Power leg kicks, not a bad idea, bro. It's actually the most feasible. Like everyone goes like power, power left hook and shit. Those ones aren't feasible because no one really wants to eat a bomb in the face unchecked. But people would sit there and let you le like let someone leg kick them. Power thigh kick, even if you don't want to do power calf kick. You just said leg kick. So, yeah, power thigh kick, right? Like, you can only – I don't know. I don't have any problem with that, to be honest. I'd power slap Tracy Cortez. I'd watch that, too. It'd be cool. I don't know if it'd be as good as power slap because we're never going to get KOs or anything, right? If anything, we might get a leg break. But leg breaks aren't fun to watch, right? You'd have to be – you have to actually kind of be – it's weird. What You know what is weird at the end of the day is we enjoy watching KOs for whatever reason. But none of us really do like watching bone breaks, which is weird. And it's not abnormal. Like, you're not weird for enjoying watching someone get KO'd or anything. It's like a fun spectacle, these fights and stuff. But when people break their legs or get these, like, bone snaps in their arms, no one really enjoys it. Everyone, you have to be a real sicko, I feel like, to be like, yeah, like, I want to see this motherfucker get his arm ripped out of his socket or whatever. You know what I mean? Or go back and rewatch the Weidman leg break. I used to show, I tried to show my one buddy the, uh, uh, some leg break and he was like almost like puking and shit for, uh, from the UFC. Future is so hit or miss though. Yo, for, yeah, for real. But I mean, he puts out so much content bro. and he's old now. He's like 40 now. So you got, I mean, they put out a decent album. That album's decent. I remember in Lil Yachty didn't curse on his albums. Oh, really? I thought you said the new future is mid. Nah, I enjoy it. Powerbomb would be funny as fuck. There's a there's some good songs on it. Power body shots would be great. That'd be crazy. Power head kick. Power head kick's wild, dude. Power shins. I do like the power shins idea. Is chest boxing a thing? I don't know. I've never seen it. Still a thing. Oh, so much. Okay. Hit the wall or smoke a joint for that shit. DQ. <clears throat> it's not at all a bad point, bro. It's not at all a bad point. Yeah, it's bullshit, dude. We both picked Azzy on that one, but we're going head to head on this matchup. I've got Evie and Scott, the black guy in this fight, and um, uh, yo, my name is Sean. Has the Hawaiian guy. It's Polynesian. Ver it's Polynesian obesity versus fucking urban obesity, guys. Who's what's gonna win? I like both these guys. They're both cool fighters and shit. Evie and Scott's new to the sport, though. I do like him. Former like defensive lineman in college or some shit, right? Big, big, big boy, bro. Look at this guy, all shiny and shit. Request an esoteric lore for the Grand Hogs of Dana White CT speed rod. What does that even mean? Go into the leg break. <laughs> it's so chi I'm so chinny. The vibrations from an arm punch would put me out cold. Sinful. I'd knock you unconscious, dude. What about watching someone get kicked in the balls? No, I'm not watching Power Ball Power Rochambeau or whatever that's called. And this is a South Park where they're doing the uh they there's like Rochambeau and they trade ball kicks. That's already a sport. South Park already made that actually. That's funny that South Park made two sports: basketball. If you know, you know, if you're a real South Park enjoyer, and Rochambeau. He has rumble brow. Look at this Hawaiian's brow, dude. He's got man-eater brow. This is the this is the face of a man who ate Captain Cook. What happened? Why is everyone saying gay? What? People aren't saying gay. What are you talking about? Shinya. What? 
Shinya and Oki breaking the guy's arm and flipping him off is one of the best highlights. Well, sure. So I don't mind watching those, but I'll watch them once. Like I'm not a, I'm not, I don't close my eyes with the bone breaks and shit. And I rewatch the arm dislocations and shit just to see what happens. But I don't enjoy it really, to be honest. At the end of the day, the night MMA is also crazy where they dress up like knights. Yeah, those ones are fucking crazy, bro. They are crazy because sometimes the refs are so dog shit. A guy's just getting his head like pounded in. It's like, what's going on? Be careful being a woman in here. Might get you cyber raped. Here's that rumble brow. Prime is for future mature mallet. All the first figures picked up. What? There's some random chick in here or something? I don't know what you guys are even talking about. Oh, AK. AK's been in here the whole stream. She got a son and shit. Hey, unless you're looking to become a, a good uh, papa. You better keep your hands off my girl, AK. I'm the chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. She got to take her son to prom on 300, she was saying. That's a good mama. Peyton Talbot would enjoy getting kicked in the balls. That's something Peyton Talbot's mom would do. Miss uh, something she enjoyed to take her son to MMA practice. All right, we got this uh, massive super heavyweight fight. 388 pounds versus 355. 388 for the Samoan. 355 for the um, American here. We got six foot two. Sorry, he's not Samoan. He's Hawaiian. They're both Americans. Okay, black guy and, and Polynesian guy. I'm just going to use regular descriptors. Lashana, her name's Ladon. Show some respect. Yo! Oh, wait, Peyton Talbot's too old to go to prom. I thought AK might be Ladon Talbot's alt for a second, dude. I thought AK might be Ladon Talbot's alt, because I know Ladon does watch my channel, but she watches my channel on her real account. Super Walrus. This is a Super Walrus matchup, dude. The black dude probably plays Valorant competitively. <laughs> Better buy an extra guy at each side catch. Dude, dude, for real, Foggy. They can't catch these guys. They don't even try. They just let them fall. And they stand there looking like dummies as they're like, Ugh. like, it's so funny to see Forrest Griffin, like, not know what to do as a 400 pound ball of flubber, blubber falls towards him. I need her king of my love for Pyrus up again. Well, you're not watching it. All right, boys. Yeah, it kind of does look like Daryl from the office. His nickname's The Water Boy. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, Evian Water Boy Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually kind of a cool nickname, to be honest. It's kind of crazy, though. This is sick. This is our future fight, guys. We're almost at the co-main event with Wolverine and Turpin. So any Turpin enjoyers, they've been moving quick through this event. Holy crap. This is paced, like, insane. No downtime. Oh, I don't know why I'm holding my hand out this early. Stop talking about Obi. Samoans are bad for this. They don't really have that much power, though, bro. All right, Evian Scott gets the strike first. He has such a sick fucking fade. Or such a sick... Uh... <laughs> Bro has a bull fro. Why does Evian Scott have a bull cut afro? Have you, did you guys notice that? It looks like he just got a fade and the barber put a bowl over him. Okay, one, two, and he's slapping on three. Big slap. Oh, my gosh. The Crazy Hawaiian ate that shit, bro. Boom. Yo. Yo, these Hawaiian boys know how to emote after eating a slap, dude. Oh, and he's getting a stepping foul. That's a nightmare. One point. Yo, I love the emotes. Emotes make combat sports so much fucking better. I can't watch both at the same time. Wait, what are you watching, Spike? BKFC or something? I must, must have missed what you said. You was hungry, or you just mean the stream and the the rumble or something? Insane emo, crazy emo, bro. Almost as good as his brothers. His brother is the one who does this. He's so his brother is the uh, the crazy Hawaiian. This is like I don't know the evil Hawaiian. What's his nickname? This guy, the Hawaiian hitman, bro. The crazy Hawaiian and the Hawaiian hitman. These brothers are actually goats. The goaded brother brother pair of combat sports. They Diaz, bro. Step the fuck aside, dude. 
This isn't the crazy one. This is brother, Pinello. This is the Hawaiian hitman. This is Dane Viernes. His brother's the champ, Lane Viernes. They had like a rigged fight against each other, to be honest. Didn't they? Right? Or was that a different Hawaiian guy? There was like a rigged fight. I thought he just changed his nickname. No, 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 no. They're like really, like they're brothers. They just look really similar. And they're both super happy whites. And one's uh, champ, one's ranked number one. But yeah, they look crazy. But the crazy Hawaiian's the one who always wears the thing over his hat. He wears it like a like like a pharaoh. Okay, he's uh, Hawaiian hitman's about to slap. Flinch, massive flinch. They better call it flinch on that. They're calling a ho stepping foul on a hitman. Do I not know what I'm watching? Was that not a flinch? Guys, flinch, Pinaldo, right? 808 over 209. Let's go. Is that the Hawaiian uh, area code, Batman? Hey, Riggers, I'm late. The hitman is so sweaty. He's sweaty already. 207, 209. What's 207? Yeah, I can't watch the stream. I don't know. True. That sucks. You got to wait. At least, at least you can hop in there and watch the uh, slaps. They're not very long, right? I guess. Oh, flinch. That's weird, right? Stepping foul and no flinch call. Never mind, he didn't flinch. Oh, I didn't watch the replay. I didn't watch the replay. I trust your take on that. He didn't flinch? Okay. Okay. Okay, both of you guys are saying that. Penalized for pivoting and bros using your hip. So they're both fouled in a round. Or in the same round. Oh, but the flinch isn't a point. I always forget that. So now Evian Scott gets a... S Wait, what's going on right now? Oh, no. What's going on right now? Oh, there wasn't a flinch. I'm tripping. Sorry, guys. All right, we're in the second round. Evian Scott... Taking his second slap of the fight. Measured. He's going to slap on three. One. Two. Three. That was a big slap at eight. Yo, look at how sweaty. Why is he so sweaty? Why is he? He's like really sweaty. Like that's like, a, a, like your doctor needs to be notified right now, bro. You have done no physical exertion. Like, you've delivered one slap, dude. He's as heavy as, like, Josh Parisian after a five-round grapple grape fucking walrus fest. You know what I mean? Where do we watch Powers, uh, Power Pump? Bro, Nolan, it's pinned right at the top of the stream, but that link will get you right there. If for whatever reason, it's not working. It'll bring you to the Power Slap page, but it should bring you right to it. He's melting. Yeah, why is he so greasy? They need better shoes. Hit me wearing some old ass Jordans. Yeah, they're just allowed wearing whatever they want as shoes. I bought a bottle for tonight, another bottle for tomorrow. Nice, bro. Need to stop drinking though. Well, not a bad day to quit drinking after 300. All right, we got Crazy Hawaiian. Sorry, the Crazy Hawaiian Hitman. About to slap. Three, he's about to slap. Night, night, sweetheart, Daniel, he just said. He's back to his feet. And a stepping foul. Dude, I would let them DQ it. Evian, take the DQ win. I picked Evian, so I'm biased in this one. Popped up like The Undertaker. This is crazy to see a super heavyweight get up like that. No way we're going to actually see a super heavyweight take a like, get up from a drop. And they're calling a stepping. My pick is goaded. Evian Scott going to take the decision, bro. I picked Evian Scott by decision. Hey, my name is Sean. Where the fuck you at? He just got to walk. DQ him now. He has two offensive striking fouls. It's going to be a DQ on um, the crazy ho hitman anyway. A massive step. Massive pivot. Massive pivot. W pick. W pick, Rigo. It's too hard to avoid these fouls, bruh. Official power slap shoes to be lit. They need a mold in the ground, like just like that, like uh, really flexible rubber shit. You know what I mean? Like that exercise gear will be made out of, or like rollerblade, like you know, snowboard straps that, like, if you fall over, it snaps out, so you're not gonna twist your ankle, but it prevents a pivot. You know what I mean? Like it's designed that you fall in any of these directions, it's gonna pop the thing out, and then if you do that when you strike anyway, that's an automatic foul. 
But then it's like controlling these guys from that little lift that turns into a pivot. Because sometimes it's just a little lift and then they're carried through and the carry through turns their leg around. It's like, fuck, what are we doing here? Like, let's just t- literally duct tape their fucking ankle down if we need to, right? Um, just to stop that little carry through, right? But it's looking like it's going to be a DQ win for Evie and Scott here. Literally just let them step at this point. What the fuck? You should have slept them in the third slap. Fuck. Good, my what's good? My name is Sean. Yo, hey, yo, my name is Sean. Cool, dude. Won my emo. Who is Hawaiian's coach? I have no idea. It doesn't matter, Big G, really, who these fuckers' coaches are. No disrespect to these athletes, but. I don't know who their camps are. I'd say they need to attach snowboard things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or they could put books on the bottom of their shoes that would slide on the floor. Like, Mike, okay. <laughs> it seems like just having a sticky forward makes it 100 times more legit. Dude, yeah, like that. Um, I know exactly what you mean, Mike Brannigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the snowboard idea. But yeah, Mike's not got a bad idea. A pad, a sticky thing around the podium is not even a bad idea. But the, the, the other thing might work a little bit better for sure. It's why I love Power Set Man. Almost every strike is a foul. I still got Turpin. We're going to tie. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Carry out is the king of age. Oh, yeah. We're probably going to tie on picks, won't we? Maybe not, though. Dude gets put down twitching and wins. What is even the point of this shit if every match ends in DQ? It's just been two, first of all. Shut up. You saw four fights. Well, three fights tonight have actually ended in DQ. Black guy wants to run it back. Well, he should. He should. What are they booing? <laughs> well, I don't know. Dude, at this point, they're probably drunk. Power step shows you anything is possible. Never give up. Never give up, bro. Why is this working for all? Yo, sketches in this crowd. What a humble kid, man. What a humble kid. What a good kid. He's a power slap enjoyer. I'm officially on the sketch train. I was a little bit torn on him. I'm officially on the sketch train. They should do something to lock their feet in place. Like, that's the streamers we want affiliated. Like, I don't want these SQC and Aiden Ross, like, creeps affiliated with our sport, bro. Like, that's good that they're trying to get in, like, wholesome characters like Sketch. Sketch is cool, brother. Exactly, dude. It's good to have Sketch in here, bro. Wholesome ass motherfucker. And Theo Vaughn in the crowd tonight, too. Good man himself, Theo. Pool of water would be great for the big boys. <laughs> Make them fight on ice float. Make them fight on an ice float like the walrus as they are, dude. Add a device on the floor you can put your feet in. Yeah, exactly. Lee. Five and oh. Okay, Louis. Crowd is racially motivated. I think they're done like seeing two DQs in a row for people they think should have won, right? As dumb as you think this is, remember our Jimerson represents the fairy shit you enjoy being paid. <laughs> What is the sketch? He's just this like streamer kid who's like trending. Who the fuck is this chromium field? <laughs> he fakes, bro. He's fake. He doesn't actually have Tourette's, which is kind of based. He pretends to have Tourette's and just like plays Madden and shit. <laughs> just fucking based. He basically pretends to have Tourette's, does like this like kind of like Donald Trump shit, and then plays Madden. He's, like, based. He's just based as hell, dude. And he's, like, now, like, training with, like, uh, the Texans or whatever. That's what Sketch does? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the new meta. And people know because he doesn't act that way when he, like, goes to, like, Barstool Sports interviews or, like, when he goes to meet the Texans. He's, like, not spasticated. But when he's, like, on his stream, he's all, like, brother and, like, doing, like, all this, like, odd, like, fucking odd, but it's like a complete he's like he's playing this is what the thing these new gen alpha kids are actually like making comedy and like entertainment great again because he's bringing back the era where like a fully abled person a fully able-bodied and mentally like cognizant individual can just pretend to be uh handicapped <laughs> and profit off of it like adam sandler used to do and shit, right? Like Adam Sandler made like hundreds of millions of dollars just by trying to be retarded. Uh, and that's what Sketch is doing. 
I love a power slap crowd. All the slabs don't get invited to the UFC. A super base. He's based, bro. I'm not trying to slam him. I hope he gets his bag, makes a couple, makes a bunch of millions, and just fucks off, does whatever he wants. Like Adam Sandler. Gets all fat and shit. Oh, we got the Turpin fight, boys. He's calling Ra he's calling Wolverine Ronda. Dude, Turpin's so fucking cool, dude. I fucking love Turpin. I hope he beats the shit out of Wolverine. I hope I get this pick wrong, my name is Sean. I hope you're right. I hope you're right, bro. This is a huge matchup. I'm so excited. This is in this is fucking electric right now. Pretending to be a spaz. So based. Sketch is fucking good, dude. He's good people, dude. What's up, brother? That's super base. I went to the main event. Literally one more fight to like 20 minutes, dude. No one, maybe. 20 minutes. After this fight, oh, and yeah, you don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Stay in your seat. Don't, you not taking a bathroom break now, buddy. Pretending to be disabled, making money off of it is so base. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he doesn't run it. The thing is, the most makes it base is he's not doing it as like a full-time grift, right? He He drops the character. That's what makes it base. Because he's, he's just, just like Adam Sandler. Darius the Destroyer side at it. Wolverine all day base. Billy Madison. Yeah, exactly. Billy Madison, water boy. There's like five Adam Sandler movies where he plays like a mentally like deficient person. To, and, he, and they're like people's favorite movies. The Big Better Smoke Um. Uh... Like he's basically mentally deficient in the, the one where he had, he adopts the kid and he's like peeing in the alley and like, you know that movie, Adam Sandler is always basically playing a sketch type character. Jimmy Bader Smoke come. I know a guy with a great Down syndrome impression. He also kind of looks down. He exaggerated on scene, but he definitely does have it stuff. Well, sure, okay, but still, but I mean, bro, if you're exaggerating it, it's what's the difference in what I'm saying? He, okay, because he seems pretty friggin' like. Every I've seen so many clips of him where he's like talking for a minute or so, and it's like there's nothing. I know that not necessarily Tourette's is like, and those because it's Tourette's. He's not Tourette's is an actual mental deficiency, right? It's like an impulse. Uh, it's more of like almost um. There's probably some linguistic shit to a speech shit, right? But there's definitely some. It's definitely something to do with your brain and like impulse shit, right? But it doesn't mean you're at all stupid or anything. I definitely. Um, He's clearly not. Big Daddy, that movie's hilarious. Screamed Emmer in the Walker. But it's based to exaggerate it, too, on your stream because it's kind of funny. Where's Turpin on January? It's funny to see him to see him dunk on those fucking dumb Madden games. I've been watching because he's just, you. if you haven't seen the sketch shit, I don't know how you haven't because it's just been dumped into my shorts. Like, I've had no choice but to watch it. And at first, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, then I kind of went through this phase. I'm like, are people actually like, kind of actually making fun of this kid? But then I started looking into it more. I'm like, oh, he's. He's like feeding into it, and like everyone knows this. No one's like, you know. And then I was like, it's all pretty wholesome and shit. He seems like a decent kid. He's not doing any of those decent degenerate gambling streams. Who knows if he will eventually, like some of these other guys, right? John Calvin actually did power slap before coming to Theologian. That's why he came up with such retarded theory. What's good, Pussy Perry? Base Calvin slander. I don't like his buddy, the Jabs guy or whatever his name is. I don't know much about these guys because they're a bit young shit for me to watch. So I would never like turn on one of their streams. Um, you'd rather watch an MMA stream or something. It's just like a general like gamer or like reaction stream or something. But I have, I definitely will watch some of the shorts. Never heard of the kid. You probably end up seeing him because he's getting like all these like athletes are like memeing him like in a good way. Like these guys are like getting like three pointers and shit. And then they're like doing the sketch and shit. And he's like, it started with this one uh, Texans player. Cause he's like always wears Texans jerseys. And then some rapper also mentioned him. I think a rapper mentioned him first in a song is like an ad lib, something about like wearing a Jersey, like a sketch or some shit like that. And then I watched some shore and it was literally like, the, it was like sketch glow up or some shit and it was showing sketch and then it showed like the rapper call him out and him like dancing to this rapper or some shit then the rapper mentioned him in a song and then 
the Texans guys actually like a Texan guy do a touchdown or something and do a sketch thing. And that blew them the fuck up. And then there's like all these people in like crowds at base, like and shit and basketball players and baseball players all doing it now. Oh, hey, hey, look who it is. Look who it is. Come crawling back to daddy, the prodigal son. After you dragged my name through the mud, Eagle MMA. Normalize missing weight by 15 pounds and scamming your audience. Yeah. Normalize dragging your fucking father, your, your father's name through the mud. Ruining my good freaking name with your scam. I paid you my own fucking hard-earned money to become a member of your channel. I've had one. You better be going live tonight, you dog. You piece of dog shit. All right. I feel personally fucking scammed, dude. I'm just kidding. I hope you're doing well, Eagle MMA. You are W scammer. I knew you were going to run off with our money ever, after, ever since you told us you used to target Venezuelan kids on RuneScape and grift them out of their fucking pesos. So, w, w scam. Enjoy it, dude. Enjoy your, I, enjoy your holiday, dude. Eagle of got that regal privilege. He targeted one as well as, yo, Eagle's crazy scammer, bro. RuneScape scammer. Power Stop, number one most popular sport in Arkansas. Is it actually Tommy Tough Knuckles? It's amazing. Okay, we got the Turpin fight, though, guys. Don't let Eagle distract you. Just that Cali mindset. Don't let Eagle distract you, guys. We got Turpin versus Wolverine. This is the people's main event, the co-main event. That's really cool, Tommy Top Knuckles. That's really cool. I know Arkansas is not the biggest state, but it's millions of people. That's like saying a lot. That says a lot, bro. Soon it'll be Arkansas, Tennessee. You know, we'll take over the heartland of America and then we'll move everywhere else, blood. It'll be the number one state in every sub national, or the number one sport in every sub national region in the fucking world. We're not resting till friggin' the state of Lahore. In Pakistan is is watching power slap, my guy. Because does the long call you spank, daddy. Guys, we're about to get into the most uh, exciting matchup of the night. I hope we get a clean fight. Please, please, please. Because we've had two messy fights in a row here. And uh, I just want friggin'. I just want a good friggin' fight, dude. Good, clean fight. Three million Arkansasians. Millions in Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas must have millions. It's not some. Yeah, there you go. Three million. That's actually pretty... It's not a big state, so that's actually not... That's a decent amount of people. Okay, Wolverine. Two. Three. Oh, my gosh, dude. He just turned Turpin into a fucking raspberry. His face exploded. Like, with not blood, but like blood vessels. He did the weirdest wind-up, too. He was doing this weird shit, and then he came from a completely opposite direction, and his whole face went from, like, white on the one side and just blew up like a fucking plum, man. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Wolverine's a badass. His face exploded like a plum. So I'm exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating, Louie. Man only has 1.3 million. Yeah, there you go. I mean, Dakota, like some of those like Montana and Dakota states only have a couple hundred thousand, right? All right, boys. Turpin's getting ready for a slap, boys. The pig is about to fucking slap. That slap was insane, Khalil. The bearded bitch, Bisbean said right now. He said Turpin calls him the bearded bitch, Rhonda. Turpin's fucking, he's, he, we need him as the champ of the sport, dude. We're not groping, Herzog told him. He said, don't grope his face. Dude, Turpin's fucking, he's sexually molesting this guy. The ref had to warn him about molesting Wolverine's face, dude. He's groping him again. Okay, he's measured. One, two, three. The bearded bitch escapes another slap because of his bitchy beard. I pick Wolverine by beard. I picked him by beard. Bit the bearded bitch Rhonda escapes another slap. Hers looks like no groping. I know, bro. 
He want, and Bisbee's even saying, let him feel where the bloody chin is. Let Turpin feel where the bloody chin is, Bisbee. I agree. Me and Bisbee agreeing on a take? Shut up, Herzog, you pig. You fucking weasel. He's taking a point for clubbing, you fucking dog. Oh, you, you, you hound. What a, what a freaking cur. Ah, Gosh. Where's ref in history? Who is this fool? Dude, he's a freaking, oh, he's a dog of a man. Is this three or five rounds? Five rounds, five rounds, five rounds. Will Turpin get the belt if he wins? Yes, he will, Monk. What a freaking dog of a ref. Herzog is a dog at the end of the day. Herzog going to rob Cody Brunich tomorrow? <laughs> Shut up. He stopped his beard off. They should bring out shears right now and shave her Wolverine's face. I want a clean fight. It's already dirty. That was a terrible foul call. It seems vindictive. So I ginger. Yo, Gert, thank you for the $2 super chat, bro. Shave his beard right now. Bring out the sheep clippers. All right, whatever. Wolverine's going to slap. Wolverine's beard is insane. Shears is crazy. All right, guys. Wolverine's about to take a seven second slap. Soyzog is cracked, bro. Soyzog is cracked level. All right. Wolverine's measuring. You get in the box, dirtbag. Wolverine. Oh, look, daddy. Herzog. Oh, daddy. Herzog has to tell you how to fight the sport. Okay. I don't know. I'm shitting on Wolverine so much because I did pick him to win this fight. But okay. Wolverine's measuring. I'm a Turpig fan, bro. One, two, three. Good slap, lots of damage, not much wobble or concussive force or anything on those two slaps from Wolverine. I'm really hoping Turpig can pull it around with a massive slap in this round, dude. He needs it after losing that point. He's got a lot of energy. Slap to me and sleep him. It's, it's good slaps. Like he's because Wolverine's got these big mutt, mitts on him, right? He's got these big mitts. They do a lot of damage, but he's not necessarily delivering the most power at those two slaps. Bro, got a beard helmet on. You hide a straight rigger. You actually agree with that. <laughs> 50k live views on Rumble is crazy. Imagine if you were streaming on YouTube. YouTube would have 250,000, James Krause. It's kind of not the smartest idea to have gone with Rumble exclusive, in my personal opinion. Hopefully, they only do that for the rest of this year. Okay. Uh, Turpin measures. One, two, three. Turp Daddy sat him fucking down. The bearded bitch got what was coming to him. He's done. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a fucking and new. No, they're letting him go. Herzog's letting him be a warrior. The bearded bitch. Can the bearded bitch take another one? Can the bearded bitch Rhonda take another clean slap from Turpig? That's the question. We're gonna get to fucking see the answer to it, boys. Let's fucking go! They're tied up on rounds. 1-1 one, one going into the third. Oh, bro's back cashed. Paul Revere's back cashed on uh, over four slaps. Oh, I will cash. Next slap. Yo, oh, let's go. He's dying next round, bro. Six slaps, all it takes for this fight. Turpig miss, mate. Oh, there's no title because of a weight miss? What the fuck? I didn't know that. Sorry, bro. I should be on top of my... 300's been taking my uh, attention this week. So sorry for not knowing that. I need slap hardcore. But appreciate it. Let me know, Foggy. All right. Third round. Third slap for Wolverine. Boom! Nothing! That was bullshit. That was a garbage dirt. Uh, that was a shit slap. He was a... That was just a completely shit slap. No, thanks, buddy. Take that... Hey! Hey, buddy! I've been slapped harder uh, by deaf women. Oh, Wolverine. Yeah, Louie. What kind of coward slaps like that? The Steel Cup. Turpin missed by 15 pounds. No. Have you seen the Super Bowl vids of Wolverine slap fighting and like sketchy pros? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolverine's a go. Wolverine's a go. Clap, slap. Turpin's getting his revenge. A deaf women. Too scared of the foul. Bro, Turpin's fucking going to put this... So this fight is for nothing, though, because what's-his-name retains his belt? Or does the belt get vacated if he loses? He would retain his belt? No, it'd go... I don't know how things work. Like, it goes... Whatever, who cares? 
Okay, third slap. Turpin's going to slap. He's measuring. I'll give you a count. It gets vacated. Okay, thanks, Louis. One. Two. Slap. Good slap. No drop, but good slap. Stunned. Stunned. Yep. Bearded bitch is going to sleep right now. That wasn't the greatest slap. It's hard to land on the bearded bitch, Dayton. Turpin is my inspiration. Got to aim for the top of the beer line. Gets vacated. Not for the belt. It's a different weight class belt. Is that Aspinall? Rigo, he really missed by 15 pounds. That's what people in chat are saying, yeah. How do you eat that? Are they calling a club? Turpin's protesting the call. That was a fine. That's not a club. Dan Healy sounds like a conspiracy fucking theorist. He sounds like he'd be in this chat right now. He's going the beard is a strategic advantage. Dan Healy's a secret Turpin fan. Imagine arguing with the RAF based. Only Turpin. They're taking a foul. They're calling a clubbing foul, bro. They don't want a vacated belt. They don't want a vacated belt. Wolverine's defending no matter what, boys. His face is red, yeah. Wolverine taking another controversial decision. They got to get rid of the beard. Yeah. Imagine with this 50K people in the crowd. Oh, it'd be so electric, bro. If you had a clean face, we'd be able to tell, Blippi. I, I'm a Dan Healy a supporter in this one. I think it's a strategic advantage. That was clean. Terzog hates. Terzog's just a company man, buddy. Terzog's just a company man. He'll throw a fight if he has to. Disgusting. Rigged. Yep. How is it a club if you can't see his chin? <sighs> rigged sport. What isn't anymore, DJ Giggles? What isn't rigged anymore? My friend. Jason Herzog also took one point from Costa against Vittori, which cost him the fight. Dan Beards, yeah. He almost hit his shoulder low key. Rig gaze. Jason Herzog wants to be strict. He's so cringe. S to spin on Wolverine. S to, yeah, type some S's in chat to spin on Wolverine or James. Uh, not James Krause. <laughs> not James Krause. Uh, Jason Herzog. I thought Raft couldn't be worse than MMA. I was wrong. James Krause, I kind of said it better myself. Vittori beats Costa Fair and Square. Beat Costa Fair and Square. Yeah, get that spit out. Spit on these fucking... Spit on Wolverine's beard, bro. Give him a little bit of shaving cream, you know what I mean? Dirt bag. All right, Wolverine, fourth in the championship round of this light heavyweight bout. But... Basically a scripted fight. All right, measure. One, two, three. Eight. He ate it like pudding. Turpin ate it up like hog slop. But too little. Or it's, what can you do when you're fighting against the big boys like Dana Wyatt? You know, when they don't want you to win. What can you do? Shave Wolverine. Yep. We need to get that trending, dude. Shave Wolverine, dude. Shave Wolverine, dude. That's got to be my, my freaking recap. That's got to be my freaking recap thumbnail. Like Wolverine with a freaking razor on his face or something. But this is just crazy. All right, fourth slap for Turpin. Hopefully he can just, hopefully he just knocks him the fuck out. Come on, Turpin. One, two, three. Massive Wumpa, but no, Burrow's on his feet, blood. Oh, he looks bad. Herzog's looking. Herzog's looking. <sighs> Turp. Turpin needs that finish in the fifth. Wolverine thinks he's a prospector. He ain't fighting no goal, buddy. <laughs> his belt should be stripped just because the slaps are so pathetic. He's not fighting like a champ. Turpin, you got two rounds, blood. End it. It's funny I'm cheering for Turpin. Just because this bearded bitch. Nah, he's no fighter. 
The beard is Wolverine's only saving grace. Yeah. He's letting his beard fight his battles for him, the bearded bitch. Hubert might lose the match, but he's won the fans. He's the people's champ. Shave Wolverine with a straight razor. You think he's some dude that's sleeping, drunk driving? He doesn't look good. Bro said make way. All right, guys. Wolverine slapping his last slap. Fifth and final slap for Wolverine. One, two, he's slapping on three. Weak, nothing. Eight, like <laughs> hog slap. Eight, it like hog slap. How did Turpin was played at 265? He's at 205, bro. So I guess he came in at 220 or something. He's an idiot and a fat pig, but he is Turp pig at the end of the day. Turp going to take this to the decision. Yeah. And he's going to lose it because he lost two points, two different rounds. Wolverine is annoying. He's the bearded bitch, bro. He's the bearded bitch. I just knew he was going to win this fight. You're going to die. Good night, Maria. Let's go, Turpin. I'm back. What's up, Andrew? What's good, Andrew? Hope you're doing well, bro. Hope you're enjoying the night. Turpin is tough. Imagine winning because of your beard. I know. Well, they call, call him the bearded bitch for nothing. Time for the KO. Okay, last slap of this. It's pretty good light heavyweight fight. Bit sketchy, but with the calls, but good fight. Good fight still. One, two, and Turpin slapping, baby. Yeah, and he fucking dropped him. He fucking dropped him. Let's just call it Herzog, you dirtbag. If Herzog doesn't call this, he's corrupt. He can't stand. It's over. How much chances are you going to give him? Did you see that? Investigate Justin Herzog. And we've got a new champion, baby. Let's fucking go. He's not the champion. But let's fucking go. I'm happy to get my pick wrong on that one. Because that was egregious with those calls. And that was like a 15 count there. Where Herzog was like this. As the guy's all flopping all over the place after standing back up and leaning on the podium. That's an immediate wave off, you fucktard. Spit on Herzog. He he's, needs to be investigated. Herzog needs to be investigated. He took a call in Kaepernick. He couldn't get back to his feet. The second you fall back to your feet after the 10 counts up, you're done. But, or no, wait, you can stay on your feet. Herzog's a piece of dog shit regardless. He, he, he's, other, he, he's so corrupt, man. Not the champion. W. Turpin. I'm no expert. That Wolverine guy seems like a bitch. He's the bearded bitch. They don't call him the bearded bitch for nothing. Herzog tried to save him. Which that means to me, that screams to me, they were trying to rig that in favor of Wolverine. Give me Stone Herzog. That was awesome. That was a good fight, though. That was a great comeback W for freaking Turpin, dude. Great comeback W for Turpin, dude. Only 15 pounds overweight. Listen, this is power slump. Stop acting like this is friggin' uh, Christian Rodriguez or something mauling little Cameron Simon. So that's tripping tweak and based sex spin. Wow, insane. It is insane. Immediate rematch. We'll get the trilogy between these boys. Turp oh, I missed the hump. He was doing the floor hump. Oh, that's why you were saying sex pin. Yeah. Turp hey, Austin Turpin sexually mogs your favorite fighter. The end of the day. He's the most sensual. Guys, let hey, get this stream up. Fucking the 70 likes for the Turpin win here. Come on. Let's get this fucking going. Don't leave this in a low. Don't be in a low like power slap stream. Prove that Power Slap is the next up and coming combat sport. Okay. The beer got to be considered cheating. Turpin is a beast. Give this man a 300K bonus. Look at how pissed Herzog is. Yeah, fucking Turpin flipping these fuckers off, dude. Who is he flipping off in the crowd, dude? He pointed at someone and flipped them off, dude. God is good. Let's go, Turpin. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. Let's go, bro. And it looks like he has personal beef with someone in the crowd, which is based as hell. That's based as hell, dude. Wolverine Chin's gone. 
It's Turpin time, bitches. Yes, sir. Wolverine said, wait, wait, wait. Well, they'll have a rematch for the actual vacant title. Unless they, they won't. I doubt those. Yeah, they'll probably have a rematch for a trilogy, rubber match for the vacant title. That was electric. That was a great fight. That was a great fight, dude. We've had some great fights on tonight's card. Some bad endings, but some great fights. What's good, Kerwak? God is good. God is good, baby. And Turpin will be champ. I don't know why Wolverine is complaining about the slaps being on his neck. It's saving him from going to sleep. Why doesn't he shave the beard? Right? It seems to be at this point, it's like, oh, you keep getting hit in the neck? Shave your freaking beard, dumbass. Flipping off sketch. Was he flipping off sketch? Bro was on stage heckling the crowd. Turpin is a Sigma male. He doesn't give a shit. Turpin looks like each rock. The champion has a name. And it's Austin Turpin, dude. Herzog thinks he mobs, but he's a little turp who hops around the cage. I know, dude. You're a post turp, missed by 15 pounds. Who cares? It's power slap. Future power slap off him. I picked Wolverine, bro. But come on, don't be a turpin hater. Oh, oh let's listen to what turpin says. Ronda's a bitch. Wait, he just said, as a matter of fact, Ronda's a good dude. <laughs> Turpin's so based, bro. <laughs> he said, don't bring your girlfriend when I come back with a six pack. <laughs> yeah! Bro, he's straight up said he straight up came in hot and ready, going, Ronda, look, Wolverine's a bitch. And he's like, well, as a matter of fact, uh, Wolverine's a very good guy. And he took the fight because I missed Wait, hey, Don't bring your girlfriend when I come back with a six pack. Why does Charlie keep staring into the frame? Stop staring into the lens. It's weird. First question Charlie asked is about him being a fat ass. We still got one more fight. Dude, I know. I know what main the shot. It did feel like the main event, bro. Wolverine is a child for taking that fight, though. He waited at first at 205. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Wolverine's a good man. Wolverine's a good man. Listen, Wolverine, if you watch this back, I take back calling you the bearded bitch. I was just getting into it, bro. I'm the number one watched Power Slap uh, content creator. Like Most of the Power Slap fighters will come back and watch my streams and shit. Hey, he just said he's a good old white boy from Jacksonville, Florida. He said he was starstruck by Cowboy Cerrone, which is po probably why he missed weight. He said that he's most used to a Polaroid wind-up camera and that the lights and Cowboy Cerrone are a little bit overwhelming to him. Yo, okay, Turpin's feeling himself insane now. Bro came, okay. This is how Turpin came in 15 pounds overweight for 205 pound belt. Doesn't get the belt and is now calling out the 185 pound champ. Bro said I might go on a diet and beat the shit out of the 185 pound champ. He'll make 185. I'll do it. He only weigh 240 right now. I'll make 140, 185, only weigh 240 right now. Is that what he said? Bro's crazy, bro. The, the division champion, Turp Daddy Slim, base, no bell. Yeah. I'm glad Davis is getting clowned. He's a retard. He's a bit of a crybaby. I'll give you that. You can't even spell poker, base. A star is born. Turpin's a freaking mega star, bro. He's like a superstar. Where's the belt? He was overweight. Woof, woof, motherfuckers. He got that dog. Oink, oink. He got that boar in him, bro. He was in a loop there. We did another El Perro interview. Yeah, I'd love to get El Perro back on, bro. I'd love to get El Perro back on. I reached out to Ryan Phillips, but then I forgot to, like, check my messages and shit, and I left it too long. 
I actually haven't even checked. I think he responded to me. He did respond to me, I'm pretty sure. I forgot to check it. So I feel like a dick if if he loses to Damien DeBell and I just I don't interview him. I'm gonna be such a dick. I'll probably get Ryan Phillips on. But also I might not do any interviews, actually. I might just not do any interviews. I want to do IRL content. I don't really want to do interviews. You know what I mean? Like sitting there talking, just talking. I'd rather do like something IRL. I'd rather get Damien DeBell to teach me how to slap. You know what I mean? Uh, Owen asked, thank you very much for the $2 super chat. Or Ryan Phillips, teach me how to slap. You know what I mean? Go to Puerto Rico and train with Aziel Rodriguez. Uh, Owen, thank you for the $2, bro. I appreciate you. White boy summer. I'm just a white boy from Jacksonville, Florida. All I know how to use is a, ca- a Polaroid camera or whatever he said. But I really enjoyed that Aziel Alperro interview. I-, I will definitely do more shit with power slap fighters. Absolutely. And UFC fighters I want to do. I have a bunch of shit I want to do. Still be getting the bell getting slapped badly. I don't know, boys. I don't know, boys. It's gonna be a great matchup, though. The bell about to get wrong. The bell's got a pretty great chin, man. He's a monster. How much did he miss? Weight by 15 pounds, and he's talking about going down another 20 pounds. It's freaking insane. That was seriously so much fun to watch. This whole card's been great. How do you go 0 and 2, win two in a row, and then get a title shot? It's power slap. <laughs> it's power slap. Phillips looks like a GameStop employee. June 28th, power slap. Oh, that's way too far. It's two months away. Over two. That's two and a half months away. Right? Yeah. <sighs> Look a little bit under. Ryan game slap Phillips. Ryan Phillips could shock the world, bro. He's a good showman. Got a good chin. He could shock the world. I personally picked Damien DeBell in this one, but no shame to Ryan Phillips. He's a great personality. That's why I reached out to him to try to get him on because I thought it'd be a fun interview. I'd also like to get Damien DeBell. He's a, do you know Damien DeBell's 21 years old? Damien DeBell will be retired by the age of 30 and be a millionaire. With the way his career is going right now in Power Slap. And everyone's going like, oh, Power Slap's stupid. Power Slap is just CT and you get nothing from it. Damien DeBell will be able to buy his mom a house. Retire. Pay for his kid's college. Go on to a second career. Casually doing whatever he wants. Not stressed about finances. Because of his career in Power Slap. You do realize that? And he's 21 years old. We don't gatekeep the sport of the ranking system for Ego Beans. I told you Wolverine is overrated. Well, okay, whatever. Ryan Phillips got a Discord server. Your VIP was like, I can tell you the weather. Just have a shitty elf bar. This one's pretty good. It's like a 12,000 puff one. So it's it, it just has the battery. Dude, elf bars are dog shit, though. I bought a few of them. I never liked them. Honestly, they always tasted really, like, weird and, like, fake to me. Um, And, uh, you know, you can even get, like, in my personal opinion, you can always get, like, Owen, like, like I don't know. Like, I, if you don't like the elf bars, just try a different one of comparable price. You'll probably like them more. I found ones that were the same price as elf bars, like the 20-buck vapes in Canada or whatever that were, like, way better. You know what I mean? Elf bars seem like they scam you. Like, they don't seem like they're the 5,000 puffs or whatever. I like these ones because they straight up tell you. It's like... <coughs> Dude, I had one that was transparent. That was the sickest one because you could actually see how much you were going through. Uh, Dibble only needs one slap. I honestly believe it's a round one KO guaranteed. You ready to watch? Party for the whole card tomorrow. Yes, sir. Kirak, yes, sir. I'll be live at 6 p.m. Eastern time for anyone who's a UFC fan in here as well. I'm... Pretty sure probably every last person in here is. Imagine being a power slap enjoyer and you're not a UFC fan. That would be like obscure as hell. You're like, yeah, I don't I don't like MMA or anything. I just like slap. I'll watch some NBA. But yeah, 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 dude. I'll be live for UFC from 6 p.m. till like 2 a.m. Eastern time, whenever the heck it's over. And I'll have a power slap recap out tomorrow. And then I'll do a UFC recap Sunday. And then... Um, I have some video ideas depending on how the fights go for 300. So we'll probably get some 300, extra 300 content. And then I have a whole bunch of other video ideas I'm going to make next week because we don't have fights next Saturday. We, we might have some other regional shit or something, but we don't have UFC or PFL or anything, I don't think. Elf bars are for 14-year-olds. It's weird that they all planned it for this week when like it would have been better for PFL to go for next week. I would have watched PFL next week if it was like next Friday or Saturday. Vaping isn't based. No one said it was. I didn't say it was. Not everything you have to do is, is to be based. 
Base just means cool. And actually it is. Vaping's based as hell. Can you give us a situation report in the Middle East right now? Uh, it's sandy and violent. Bro, they can pay their rent for the next few months with the power slap money. That's about it. Damien DeBell is making great money at this point, bro. And sponsorship money and shit. Their fancier ones are just like the mango peach, elf bar flavor. I'll step on my favorite. Well, don't do it on my account, bro. If you, I just was giving you a recommendation because you didn't like it. The mango peach one, that's what I used to get. I'm pretty sure. Mango. I think I used to get mango strawberries. Get their motherfucker heads ring. Because I used to get elf bars for like uh, a bit, like, like a month or so. I, I, you know, I got, I had a few of them, but I just got sick of them really quick. So based don't even try to make weight for power slap. You talk about UFC too? Yes, sir. Kyok, Kyok, you've been in here. Don't act like you're just a slap man. Does the ball seriously make that much too? Damien the ball is his first. That's not the ball. Damien the ball is definitely making good money, man. MMA is too brutal. Like power slap. And, and I said, he will, he's 21 years old. He's got like 10 more years of slapping in him. He's going to be a millionaire. I didn't say he's a millionaire right now, guys. The sports brand new. Damien DeBell's in there, though, right from the start. I think he's going to be a millionaire by the time he's 30 from slapping. That's not even, even crazy to say. First of all, a million dollars, like getting, racking up a million or two bucks isn't even that crazy from anything anymore because it's not that much money anymore. But um, like it's a lot of money, obviously. I'm not trying to dismiss it or anything. But it's not like it was you know, in the 70s or some shit or even the 2000s. It's like, you know what I mean? Point being, with inflation and everything, I think it's very reasonable to assume that Damien DeBell will be a millionaire by the time he's 30. Mio Yakiyama, thank you for the $2, my guy. I appreciate you for the super chat. Seeing, seeing them DQs, it's 1560 sat, the best base for sat. 1560 sat? What do you mean by that, bro? Sorry, the joke might have just went over my head. Seeing them disqualifications, it's 1560 SAT. Is that an American joke about SATs? I don't do it. I brought him Canadian. Is that like a bad or I don't know if that's a bad score or a good score. It's completely went over my head, bro. As a Canadian, I had no idea. That's like a British person talking about their A levels. I have no fucking idea what that shit is. We don't do that in Canada, bro. We're like one of those people. Just like the Brits have their like A levels and you guys have like your SATs and shit, right? We don't do that. We just go through grade 12 and then you can get into like university or whatever. It's near perfect score. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know what's funny? That one guy, you know what's funny, Mio Yakiyama, is that one guy who fought earlier on the card, I think it was the second fight of the night, is a fucking engineer for Na uh, SpaceX. He does some shit for SpaceX. He's got like a master's degree. Quinones, he does not look like it. He's got like a neck tattoo, and he's like this like beefy like Cuban, like white Latino looking guy, uh, meathead looking guy, but he's like a, some type of like engineer or soft, like develop. I don't know what he does. He does something for SpaceX. They said it like a couple fights ago of his, like uh and they're like, yeah, he works for SpaceX. He's got like a master's degree. <laughs> Shit, bro. He's making six figures and coming to slap, bro. He's based. Uh, so maybe it is. Maybe it is. He didn't win. Oh, he did win tonight. Right? No, he didn't. He lost. Where's my Canadians at? Hey, let's go, bro. Yeah, sorry. That one went right over my head, but I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, Mia. No friggin' way. Yeah, he's like a SpaceX. He works for SpaceX. He's fucking nuts. I don't think he's like, he's not like a rocket engineer or anything like that. He does some shit. I think it was computer related. He did some computer develop, man, or programming for SpaceX or something like that. He's like a computer engineer. He had some master's degree in something. They were talking about, I want to say engineer, but could have been a developer or something. Computer science shit. I don't fucking know. I'll go find it out. I'll go find it out. Are British people real or a sigh up? All right, guys, we got the main event here. Sorry, I'm yapping. How the fuck is Estrella Jalisco sponsoring this? They're laundering money. I don't know what that is. Again, Jalisco, Estrella Jalisco. What is that? A brand of something? An American brand or something, right? Manny Quinones. Oh, he did win? I thought he was fucking Dimmer Gear. No, not Landon Quinones. His name's uh, something Quinones. I can't remember. Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah Quinones. All the best slappers are from Florida. Makes sense. Engineers are good at physics. Best base for slap fighting. Yes, sir. Okay, guys. Let's go. Speaking of physics, we got two heavyweight trucks colliding right now. Two. Ryan Phillips about to slap. Okay. The 
The bell is a weak nickname. It's good. Damien, the bell, the bell, because you see that he rings the bell. Okay, listen, not the best lap from Ryan Phillips to start the fight. <laughs> not, are you on a delay? No, my stream's on live. It's just probably latency shit. Bro. With power slap, I can't set a timer really either, right? It doesn't make sense to. So there's no like rounds and shit. So it's hard to get synced up. But I'll, I'll give you like when exactly when Damien DeBell measures, okay? I'll make sure to line up my hand exactly when he measures and for this one so you can hopefully get synced up. Okay, so measured. Measuring, measuring, measuring. One, two, slap. Kind of a flinch, but probably clean. Good slap, Mark Smith calls. Neither impressive slaps from both gentlemen in the first round. They're both warming up here. Got four more to go. Hasn't Ryan coached the bell before, Lil? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Louis, he has. True. Here comes death. I don't know if I named the song. That was not the greatest slap. I knew the bell crazy at Smash Bros. He's like a kid. He's 21 years old. It's so funny to think. He was like 20 when he was like fighting like last year and shit. He doesn't look like it. Like, he doesn't look old, old, but it's just crazy when I found out he was, like, how young he was. I would have thought he was, like, 25 or something. All right, boys. Second slap for Ryan Phillips. Hopefully he can deliver a better one that first round. It was a little, looked, like, a little bit uh, off. He, he didn't judge it properly. He's measured. One, two, slap. Decent. Much better, Ryan. Good, good slap. Little bit of redness on the side there. Oh, Mark Smith calling a review. Flinch? More of a clinch than a flinch. Oh, they're calling a flinch review? Fair slap, they called it, though. Looked fine. Yeah. It's good. Good to me. Good to me. The match is so much better and the ref stays out of it. Yeah, they when they start trying to over-ref it, it's cringe. It just ruins it. Mark Smith going to be at his brother, DeBell. He called the flinch review on the bell. So, argument with the ref's base, it is, it is, it is. Like Turpin did. All right, measure for the bell. This is the second slap. Okay, three. He's going to slap on three, boys. Let's go. One, two, three. Big slap. Big slap. Pointing at his neck, Ryan Phillips is, though, but... Clean slap. I didn't think that was a clean slap. If anything, Ryan moved kind of towards the last second. So it's his fault if that slipped onto his neck. I think that was a totally fine slap. Oh, that was actually right on the neck. Never mind. He slapped him right in the neck. <laughs> he slapped him right clean in the neck. It's all for, for clinching, bro. It was clean in his neck. The clinch didn't affect where that blow went. Right after he measures. Phillips flinched. Okay, well, whatever. They called it clean. The Rumble app chat, so on. And just, yeah. Both boys eating these shots pretty easily. Yeah, they're not delivering the craziest shots, though. Okay, we're getting the third slap for Ryan Phillips. Third round. Two, three. That was a good slap. It was a good slap. It looked like a finger dragged up on the eye, but it, I think that was clean. Okay. The reviews, I keep eating my words every time I see the review. It looked like he palmed them right in the eye. They're reviewing it, it looks like. Power slap is turning into soccer. The bald fuck takes deep breath after second count. That's actually true. He's doing a little tricky thing. They're calling a clubbing foul, it looks like. That was high. It was to the eye. They're even now. Why are they bitching much? Yeah, they... I don't know, bro. These guys are bitching a lot in this fight. That is true. Well, the bell isn't. Actually, I should say. Ryan did get hit in the neck, though, and then hit him back in the eye. But they're not really even because only one of them lost a point. The inconsistencies are crazy in these calls. Yeah. Medical timeout? For what? Is, is this, hey, this is power slap, not a daycare. What the frick's going on, dude? Medical timeout for an eye poke. <sighs> yeah. 
You know, it's at the end of the day, it's power slap. You just gotta ride the wave. All right, you just gotta ride the power slap wave, dude. It's ups and downs. Every card is like this. I no longer have the energy to get upset about bad calls and power slap. I just expect them now. You're not even looking where he's hitting. Should clinch before measure or not slap. You should not be moving your head in any real significant way, Monk Monty. You're 100% correct. I don't like uh, Ryan's strategy here because it's leading to a slump, somewhat of a messy fight. The three stooge ref it, refs, I know, man. Never seen power pop very good. Wasn't expecting. Yeah, new marquee. It's enjoyable. This last fight's a little bit messy here, but that happens in power slap. Big slap. Sorry, I didn't give you guys a measure on that one. Big connection. That was a good slap for DeBell. Rocked, rocked Phillips there. Phillips is recovering still. Like it's not like he's not wobbled or anything. I mean, he rocked him there, and Phillips did not like that. He's got some cobwebs in his head. But yeah, new marquee, bro. It's a great sport. The power slap companions are always fun too, because no one does take it too seriously at the end of the day, right? No one. Uh, there's no one like fan bases in the sense of like people have their favorites and shit but no one's like die hard like fans like and you get an mma where things can get a little bit toxic which is okay i like the uh the back and forth between fan bases and even my picks or whatever right with the mma shit too i like that but sometimes it does get a little bit it gets a little bit uh, away from the banter and i mean power stop is just great it keeps the, all the good aspects you know keeps all the good aspects it's a very positive sport they're always the best streams i always go away leaving feeling uh, great from the power slap streams power slaps coddles champions maybe maybe slap some beard okay guys fourth slap for ryan phillips here we're in the championship rounds now finally one two he's slapping good slap good slap clean no issues with that one on the slightest big loud connection but no reaction. Damien DeBell ate it, walked away. Philip needs a KO. I would agree with you, Figgy. Froggy. <laughs> Sorry. Slap some beard out. He needs to time him after he breathes in. 30 26 DeBell. DeBell's taking it. And he hasn't lost a point as 30 26 reflects. So let's see how his strike is in this round. See what he can do to. Uh, Ryan, I'd like to see a KO in this fight, I will say. No, I don't want to see Ryan get hurt or anything, but I do like this. I want to see a uh, nice fucking crazy moment. Okay. Two for DeBell. He's going to slap. And what was I going to say? Yo, what the fuck? No, what the fuck is I just saying? He slapped him. He's actually unconscious, guys. Yo, hopefully Ryan's okay, but what the fuck? And that's, guys, that's why this sport is the best sport, really, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, a messy fight like that with a clean, clean, clean finish. Let's freaking go. The Bell. They call him, is the, hey, who said the Bell was a stupid nickname? Great sport, dude. Whoever comments on your channel is fucked. What? what are you talking about? No judges needed in Las Vegas. King of Naps. Jamal gonna win. If he does, he dies. Good. <laughs> GG. Good night, Burger King. Vacation's over, dude. Aren't they supposed to catch him? I think they're supposed to. That guy was kind of shit rid of the champ. It was a bit of a sacrificial lamb, but like, I'll respect to Ryan for taking the matchup and being game for it, bro. He just ate a Clean, disgusting slap there. Slap the fuck out of that boy. DeBell is the power slap. Go. DeBell is fucking really good, uh, Red Guy. He's really good. They didn't come close to catching him. No. It's hard to catch the heavyweights and light heavyweights, though. Or uh, super heavyweights, sorry. The king is dead. He's been undefeated. Oh, he said the king is dead. No way. Nobody caught him. The bell rang his bell. I mean, I think the catchers are kind of soy anyway. Like, these guys, I don't get the catching shit. Red after he inhaled perfect timing. Is the back of the head bleeding from the fall? Oh, really? Yo, DeBell's dancing blood. Doing the stank face. I've never seen this guy show emotion like this. Fire that catcher. 
I mean, dude, he said his head of the canvas. Bro, I mean, at the end of the day, no one's catching an MMA fighter when they get knocked out. The whole catching aspect is kind of like, it doesn't really make that much sense because it's not that effective. And these guys are getting slapped. It's like, you, why are we catching them? You know what I mean? No one's catching Usman after he got head kicked by Leon. Great win for Leon. All right. <laughs> Damien defending his belt, bro. What a great fucking win, dude. What's he yelling, bro? To be fair, the floor, to be fair, if, if uh, isn't the floor was more solid. Bro got two concussions in one. Okay, guys. Fire that belt looks better in UFC. It's that nice, uh, what's it called? Um, platinum or ultramarine. No, what's it called? There's like a special, it's like that purple platinum shit. I can't remember. It looks like Halo Covenant shit though. Lost Soul MMA, why do you watch this garbage? Oh, look who it is. Oh, look who it is. Another of my kids roaming in the chat looking for approval. Eagle MMA was in here earlier as well. Isn't it just canvas on concrete? No. No. Blood. What? We did that shit. That would be insane. MMA fighters would never dare step in the power slot. You have no self-respect. Okay. The guy coming from the guy picking Armin to beat Charles Oliver. Uh, coming from the guy who picked Sadiq Youssef to beat Diego Lopez. Coming from the guy who said Kayla Harrison would miss weight, but then Kayla Harrison made weight before Armin. Let's see what Damien DeBell says. He said he's really trying to hone in on his slap gang. Don't shut on Lasso. Lasso's just bantering, bro. Lasso's just bantering. Subscribe to Lasso. Check him out. He makes MMA content and shit. Quandale Pringle. Streams and stuff. You probably like him. Maybe. Damien said he's just... He's overwhelmed by the opportunity to be in power slap. He never could have imagined his, op he could have never imagined himself in this position. What a humble young man. What a humble young man. What a humble young man. Good. Thank you for the uh, $2 super chat, my friend. I appreciate you. Lost was a young jet vector. Yes. Damien's a fucking warrior, bro. He just said he'd defend his belt every event if they want him to. What a chat, bro. What a chat. Unlike Jake John Davis trying to sit out for as long as he possibly can, bro. What a freaking chat. Young, uh, young up and coming athlete, dude. 21 years old, not even nearly close to his prime. His slap prime is decades away, actually. Well, a decade and a half or whatever. I don't know what the prime of slap is. It's probably the same as MMA. Let's say 33. This guy's freaking dozen years away from his slap prime. Humble young man. Good head on his shoulders. Crazy pair of mitts on him, bro. Great win from Damien DeBell. All respect for Ryan Phillips for taking that match up. And uh, I hope he's okay because if his head really did hit a hard surface, I don't like that, obviously, because that's a very dangerous uh, thing. But I would imagine it's not a concrete underneath it. Again, I don't like seeing a guy go clean cold and when there's supposed to be a catcher either, guys, at the end of the day. It's like, why the fuck is those, are those catchers standing there? But Fighters deserve peanuts. Okay. I wonder what a power slap champ makes. I don't know. It's definitely got to be decent money. Maybe 50K for 50. I think you might... I think you might be way over-exaggerating it, bro. Like, it's probably more like 15 for 15 or something. Do fighters deserve peanuts? Nah, fighters deserve what they're worth at the end of the day. It's a hard industry to lay out, like, a clear cut. Like, it's really hard to define someone's worth, right? Because it's like, there's a bunch of different things that can play into that. But I, I feel like the UFC does a pretty good job of paying people fairly. Um, you know what I mean?
Like, I don't like seeing these guys like John McDessey complain about making $60,000. You know what I mean? And he's a nobody. Like, bro's making like $50,000 or, you know, something like that. Like $56,000 for a fight and he's whining about it. It's like, what are you talking about at the end of the day? Now, if you're stuck on a 10 for 10 or something at that point, yeah. But it's like you're never going to be. So, no, fighters deserve what they're worth. They definitely don't deserve peanuts. Um, some people are kind of tripping when they get into the fighter pay stuff, though, and they're not really putting it into perspective. Um, at the end of the day, I don't care like what they get paid as long as they're just making money and they're happy to compete. I don't want these guys slaves or anything. But at the end of the day, their paychecks is their bit. Their money's between them and uh, the company they work for, just like anyone else, right? And um, if I want to personally, if I personally like someone, I can support them on my own, right? Through going through their, every fighter has a channel that you can support them through. Like not a YouTube channel necessarily, but some type of channel, be it like a donation service on Instagram or something. You can buy their merchandise. You can buy, you can use their code on a thing. So there's all sorts of ways to pr promote or specifically support fighters you specific or support fighters you specifically like. And and the other ones, at the end of the day, they are being taken care of by the company. So hey, young Jay, thank you for the two dollars super chat, blood. I appreciate you, young Jay. Uh Lasso's father. Lasso would be in here coping about me owning him. Yep, yep, yep. Fighters don't deserve healthcare. I agree with that. But no one's talking about that. Mm the end of the day, yeah, why would, like, a, an employee who's not – again, no one deserves health care. That's a, a contract negotiation between an employee or a group of employees and their employer. And Yeah, I don't think MMA fighters are ever going to have a successful bid for a health care plan with the UFC. But they are covered for damages that happen, like, within the octagon and often during training camps. The UFC is very good for that, and they've provided them with a PI – why don't fighters deserve health care? They don't deserve a health care plan or any type of long-term health care, bro. They're contract employees, and they're compensated very well for their work. So the idea that Chris Weidman can fight once a year and then his, fam his kids can get their dental done and written off by the UFC is ludicrous. If you want that type of job security, go become a talking head for ESPN where they will give you a salary and an insurance plan. Okay. UFC is going to cover you if you break your arm in the fucking ring. They're also going to cover you if you are sending them proof that you're hurt during a camp and shit like that. They're not making you go pay your medical bills when you're hurting during a camp. Yeah, you break your leg in a car accident. UFC is not covering that, bro. Um, and then uh, why should they be covering fighters who have very short careers? Like people will come into the UFC, bro, and fight for a few years and have a few fights. You know, and people are saying like they should have like lifelong healthcare. I know you're not saying that in that regard, but it's not the type of job that works with a healthcare plan. Why don't fighters deserve healthcare? And first of all, it's an international business. Half these fighters wouldn't even be able to like, they have fucking healthcare plans for their own governments. The like, Canadian fighters don't need access to a fucking private healthcare plan. Thank you, Young Jet, for the uh, two dollars, bro. Look, I mean, at that point, it's just gonna be Mike Mallet taking his fucking niece out to get a new pair of uh, prescription glasses because everyone just scams their insurance policy anyway insurance is a massive fucking scam thing it's true lots of fighters don't deserve any medical support of course they do i think fighters if they deserve anything they deserve healthcare low because it's been very unpredictable if you join the ufc make 40k and 400k medical bills but bro that's such an exorbitant they don't have to pay their medical bills though bro Go, dude, Mike, go find a fighter from the UFC who's been injured in the cage and has to pay their medical bills. This isn't Bellator that made that fucking guy crowdfund his own uh, cranial reconstruction surgery. You know what I mean? Like, people point fingers at fucking UFC and be like, these guys, they do. What are we even talking about here? What they're not doing is giving you a healthcare plan. They're not providing for fighters that no longer are under their contract with them. They're not providing for fighters, wives, and kids and shit like that because they're not a fucking salaried employee. But they are 100% fixing your bones. You're not... Jamal Hill didn't pay for his medical bills when he fucking got his arm hurt. You know, Cater isn't paying for his medical bills. You know what I mean? Cyborg had to crowdfund money to get his brain, his skull fixed because Bellator just left him to fucking die.
Otherwise, I don't think they need any higher pay if they haven't sold it. The pay thing what it is what it is. When you're working contract jobs like that, it's like, I get the bonuses and stuff, but the fighter onus is on them to be financially responsible. And it's not like a fighter in the United States can't enter into an insurance plan with their church or something. Like, there's tons of like non like corporate insurance, like plans that are like cheap enough. Like, dude, who the fuck is paying 400 K in medical bills? That's not even like a real thing in the United States. Is it, isn't that like, just like fake? Like no one actually has ever paid that. Maybe a foreign tourist or something. But like, the, because the, the the hospital goes, this is $400,000. Do you have insurance? Because that's what they want to charge your insurance provider. And then the insurance provider knows it's a scam. And then they write off like shit with the government. There's like a massive like medical fucking insurance scam in the United States. And that in, over inflates the actual cost of everything in the hospital. And they're lying on their invoices. It didn't, there's no way it's $100,000 for this thing. And then you go, I don't have insurance. And I can't pay you $150,000. They'll be like, okay, we'll make a payment plan for like $13,000. Now, I'm not from the United States. I may be speaking on my ass, but I've heard shit like that. Hit more fairways and keep more for $60 for a snake killer. Should get paid more for watching these fights for the UFC. But golf. I like guys who have consistent knee spine procedures, get kind of screwed in certain situations. You should never cover it, in my opinion. It's a little sad if someone makes it to the UFC. If you maybe you could have like a limit because again, at the end of the day, it's like if you've established that you've been in the UFC for a long time and those injuries are 100% from it, but one guy coming to the UFC for like a couple year career again, like, but maybe some of these guys for sure, there's like a year fight limit or something. I don't know. I'm not 100% opposed to it, but I just get uh, why it's not like a thing. Breaking news and should you believe rubless to Spain, book UFC. Like, I wouldn't be opposed if the UFC wanted to come out with a healthcare plan and insurance like coverage for their freaking fighters that was like extensive and extended for X amount of years after they left the business or yada yada would cover certain issues after they left, right? Because that could make sense, specific coverage and stuff. Um, I'd have no issue with that. I'm not going to make a video ranting about the UFC that they don't deserve it. I'm not going to be like a lost soul saying fighters should be left to the fucking dogs like bellator leaves their fighters too i definitely don't want to see these guys get screwed absolutely not um even inadvertently like they get hurt and then they just get fucked over and they got no money and they're whatever crip half crippled like obviously not bro it costs like 20 to give birth to you guys even with insurance okay well maybe i'm speaking my ass they ever treat people to make money too do you think Alpera gets cut no he won the fight it's a stupid call if anything why would they cut him power set needs fighters I got a clip. It's a mag. What are you talking about? I didn't, wasn't even talking about guns or anything. Who cares? Just go and dad. Mexicans do it. Yeah. At the end of the day, I don't think medical debt is really the worst thing in the world either. Right. <laughs> but I'm not trying to say that these guys should be fucking having I mean, to declare bankruptcy because they got hurt in the UFC. That's ridiculous. But the UFC does typically cover them, especially if it's, they can, you know, it's an injury that happened in there. But the extended coverage is maybe, I think maybe what people are bring up is the uh, is probably the more tough because I don't think anyone in their right mind, as not as a meme, would be like they shouldn't cover injuries in the octagon. Like that just seems like boilerplate. Like why would you even fight in a promotion if they're not going to cover that shit, right? Um, I don't know why people would fight in Bellator. Maybe that's why no one takes risks in Bellator because they know Bellator is not going to pay their medical expenses, but. Um, yeah, it's the extended coverage and all that shit and any type of like actual like plans that could be extended to their families. I think that at that point, it just because it's first of all, it's out of my range. Like, I don't really understand it. It's an international company. They have so many different people. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of impediments, I would think. Right. Imagine Dana White screaming in joy after Ngannou got knocked out and screaming. OK, also. One year of healthcare coverage or per fight. That's not bad, Bailey. That's not bad, Bailey. Two years for a fight of the night. 50K bonus plus an uh, extra year in your health insurance if you win fight of the night. I like it, bro. Because at the end of the day, this is prize fighting. At the end of the day, this is prize fighting and the opportunity is being provided to you, right? 
Yeah, Bailey. I like that, bro. That's the that's one of the most that's, that's, that's a take Dana White and Hunter Campbell would appreciate. I've always had good insurance, but I only pay a small cold pay. Because you gamify it. Gamify health insurance. Make it competitive. Yeah. I would be broke if I paid all my medical bills out of pocket. I've always had good insurance, but I pay only small cold pay. Yeah, I've always thought it was like, most people typically, as long as you have a good insurance plan, you usually, well, whatever. Listen, this is, mm, first of all, it's not even applicable to my life. I don't know anything about it. I'm kind of just speaking on my ass about American insurance and insurance and shit. We got Miss Power Slap tonight, but I saw Terp pick one. Yeah, did Azure really get to shoot? Yeah, uh, yeah, for a stepping foul is really ridiculous and arguably like an early stoppage, though. I don't know. But... What do you think about the guy missing? I mean, it's unfortunate and it is unprofessional at the end of the day, but it is Power Slap the end of the day good win from him i did pick wolverine to win but i hope they just run it back for the rubber match we get a clean fight they both make weight and we get no more i hope wolverine just comes in with his chin fucking shaved for the fight or something bro it's like make it a sport hey, yeah mike yeah gamify it bro okay shout out uh mike yeah and as a throwback to his uh chat earlier in the stream okay young Pinaldo. well i'm not gonna complain about you doing alphabet chains in chat right now because i'm gonna wrap up the stream i'm getting tired anyway but does ufc even have health insurance for regular employees yeah i would assume bro i don't know though but i i would assume so there's definitely got to be some type of plan right it's such a big company at this point it'd be really unlikely that they didn't like crazy unlikely maybe the uh, fighters shouldn't fight if they're worried about getting hurt but you don't hear anyone talking about that no one's talking about brandon fitzgerald getting more dental coverage for his kids you know what I mean? Ben Fitzgerald's getting bottles thrown at him in fucking Mexico. No one talks about his health insurance. I had a heart attack when I was 18. My mom made me pay the medical bills, 16K, and now I'm debt free. That's crazy. Honor their parents behind when they're evil. That's definitely got to put some strain in a relationship. I can't really give you any advice or anything because. I mean, you're, you fucking, you, you're a man. You dealt with it. You're not asking for anything. So, yeah. I mean, I can't, it's got to be definitely rough, and especially not having your parents help you out in a situation like that. I wouldn't ever take a job without good insurance, including the wage. Dental insurance is a must, also. In Canada, that's pretty much all it is. It's like they have, like, you have, like, dental insurance plans and, like, massages or something in, like, your corporate, like, insurance plans. Because everyone pays into a provincial plan. It can fade, war paint, poets, and blah. Why the F is trying to look home, man? I know. Wolverine won? Yeah. Yeah. Why is Armin in your head? He's not. I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired, though. I'm getting tired. What bets have people put on 300? Feel free to share your bets in here. I'm just going to see if there's anyone live. We can throw anyone over to anyone talking about UFC. I'll just turn midnight. Um, Because I know there was like some PFL shit on. No, no one's streaming on my shit. I think I'm like the last motherfucker live tonight. Well, guys, very fun card at the end of the day. Uh, Thank you guys for being here with me for a great power slap card. Thanks for the good uh, conversation and shit and the... uh. Being part of the experience, I'll be live for 300 tomorrow, 6 p.m., pretty much on the dot, maybe a little bit early. Uh, we'll get cracking. I'm going to be excited for that car, man. It's so good. Uh, so, hey, make sure to get your rest in, eat well, get all your snacks and drinks before the card starts, 6 p.m. Eastern time. I will be live. Um, I'll try to get a power slap recap out in the morning. I'll just whip up like a short video or something because it was a fun card. I'd like to talk about some of the things that happened in it. And uh, besides that, guys, have a great freaking night. Yeah, and Mike, hey, you enjoy the card too, bro. Have a good one out with your buddies, man. You got one main bet you believe in the most? Diego Lopez, kind of a lock, I would think. Diego Lopez is honestly lock. Like, if you don't want to consider Bo a lock just because it's, like, such a stupid bet, it's, like, no return on your money. Ridiculous odds, highest favorite in UFC history, right? With 2,100 or whatever he's at now. He's 2,500, minus 2,500 before. Diego Lopez, good luck. Um, I don't, I, bro, we'll fight for your money. 
And I don't think Sadiq Youssef has much for him in that uh, fight. I'm very confident in Diego Lopez getting it done. And uh, besides that, guys, thanks again. Hey, appreciate everyone being in here. Oh, Jack Lash in here is too. Watching the Fallout show. I might go watch an episode of the Fallout show, dude. Thank you for reminding me of that. The main character is a girl. Oh, thank you. Hey, Jack Lash, thank you. Though, no, for real, for real. You got my hopes up. I didn't finish reading the message first. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys again. God bless each and every one of you. Get your rest in once again. Get your snacks before 6 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be live for 600. Power slap recap in the morning. What's the song in your intro? It's called Kept by Crystal Castles. It's a remix version, though. It's a demo version. It's like copyright free version. But there's like, if you like that little sample, there's a full song. It's called Kept. Anyway, guys, have a great one.